Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Defenders of the Earth. Defenders. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me as always, that's my co-host, Nick Mason. Hello, there. I'm here. It's great to be here. Certainly is, Mason. We started the recording and the dog immediately started barking. And I'm like, is he going to no, Is he gonna shut this down? Is he going to scream at the dog? And we'll have some exclusive screaming at the dog content <laughs> that we'll clip out and, and sell to subscribers Maybe somehow. Maybe pre, you know, COVID, that would mm. be something I would do. But now we're, we're in just... We're in the we're in our grub era, Mason. Oh, we are. Like we're going to be talking about Indiana Jones's grub era this week for Temple of Doom. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's, I've got grub era on my mind. Okay, you know, just mistakes all the time. Who cares? I love that. Yeah, I love that. Mm. I feel more glamorous than ever, if I'm honest. Really? Yeah. I thought you were doing your grub era. Honestly. Oh man. <laughs> oh. It's just the way that you present yourself. That's oh, all. That's no. the only reason I say oh, that. No, I thought I was doing really well. Oh. <laughs> Mason, do you know what is doing really well? What's though? doing really well? We'll be talking about it. Uh, it's into this across the spider verse. That's right. Listen, you don't have to get the name of a movie right to be able to talk about it. That's so true. Especially- and you don't have to get the name of the movie wrong for people to tell you on the internet that you are wrong. <laughs> That's true. Both of those things can be true. Basically. In a way, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. But I like to think that I'm blessed if I do and blessed if I don't. Well, you would think that. Grub. Mason, yes. we've got some other things to, until we get oh, there. that's true. We're going to talk about more delays due to oh, the writer's strike. We're going to talk about a big return to the Fast and Furious franchise for one of our biggest boys. Uh-oh. Uh, and then maybe off the bock of, uh, off the bock of that. Off the bock of that. That's the new thing that I'm testing. It's <laughs> not a mistake. Right out of the bucket. <laughs> yeah. I want to talk about also what that might mean for Dwayne Johnson's career and also maybe another Fast and Furious. Furious. Another thing that I'm testing out. <laughs> Okay, so Bocket <laughs> and, and Furian or whatever I said. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. terrific. Okay. Uh, another so this is this is unrelated to the Grub era. Yeah, yeah so, yes. So this isn't you making mistakes because you're in your Grub era. This is you deliberately saying those <laughs> That's things correct. to test them out. Yes. Okay, great. Yeah. I'm loving this. This is terrific. Uh, so in relation to a Fast and Furious feud, a new one, mm. a new... F- Fast and Furious. Yeah, thank you. It's a new segment. Uh, a trailer for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. Mm. Some drama over at Oppenheimer slash Mission Impossible Central, Mason. Oh, my goodness. Then we're going to talk about the future of the live-action Spider-Man movies. And then, as mentioned, yes, we're going to talk about Across the Spider-Verse. But, Mason, people know also that if they want to jump to anything, there are time codes below. That's right. For example, if you want to skip this plug that I'm about to do, uh, I'm, I'm on a couple of other podcasts this week. I oh, recorded yeah. them a couple of months ago during the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, but I'm on the podcast uh, Scammapalooza with Nicholas J. Johnson. Oh, I saw that uh, pop we, up, We yeah. talked about the movie The Sting 2, a movie that I didn't know existed and a lot of people consider the worst and he's bad, con right? artist movie of all time. The wor- yeah. So, okay, well, that's specific. So yeah. that's not so bad. Yeah, right. It's not the worst movie of all time. Yeah. I didn't even think it was the worst movie of all time. It's not great though. Yeah, no. Well, it wouldn't be because the Sting One is a good movie. It's a classic, and and this the Sting Two is essentially something. I've been stung. That's right again. Oh, oh the dog got in. The dog's in its grub era. For so people in. who don't know, the dog has learned to open doors. <laughs> yes, like a raptor. Yeah, like a raptor. Uh, it's it's um the, the Sting Two. It it doesn't feature the Robert Redford and uh, Paul Newman. But anymore. is it the same character? But it's, it's this. They have similar names. But it. But okay. not the same name. Same universe? No. Any carrying over characters? Some, some. Like who? Robert Shaw? Does he make an appearance? Mm, no. I'm fairly confident he wouldn't. <laughs> but some actors come over, do they? No. It's like when they get when they made those Magnificent Seven movies and they got mm. to like the th- third or fourth one and yeah. it's just like whoever. It's a real mess. Like it, it technically it doesn't. It's not a, like it's partially a sequel to the last one. They reference some other stuff, but they're different characters. Yeah. Anyway, it's a nightmare. Uh, I was also on a podcast called Dice Paper Roll, which is a role-playing oh, yes. game podcast. We I remember live doing show this one, yeah. In Melbourne. Uh, that's a bit of fun, so you, uh, pe- people should check that out. Just search for those in your uh, podcast catcher of choice. You'll find them. You'll find them. I'll find them? You'll find them. All right, well, I'll check that's it out, right. Mason. Mason? Yes. Delays, but okay, because you, you should pay. Your writer's a livable wage. Oh, that's it's nice. A, it's a segment that we look at every week where we go, what's being delayed due to the writer's strike? And I just want to emphasize the reason this is delayed is because people aren't being paid properly for their work. This has, this is our opinion. Oh, well, let, let's say my opinion. You have a <laughs> okay. different opinion is that they should pay people properly and this will all be wrapped up if they mm. did just that. Yeah. yeah. People are often like, James has got big opinions and Mesa doesn't have any opinions, but my opinions are weirder than your opinions. It's why, it's why, it's why, mine are weirder and worse. That's why I don't share them as much. Most of the time some, you're like, I think they should do this, and I'm always like, I think everybody should get guillotined. <laughs> Bring out the guillotine. Also, they think that you're just like, okay, whatever, here he goes. Mm. 
Yeah. But you're actually thinking guillotine everybody. Yeah, bring out the executives and guillotine them. Yeah. Guillotine all of them. Cool, man. Uh, well, look, yeah. Well, I, I, I think that's actually rude. <laughs> it is kind of rude. <laughs> that's why I keep keep shooting them about. Yeah, I know. You're in a grub era. Yeah. So here are the shows oh. and movies that are being delayed. The all Mandalorian right. season four was supposed to be filming in September. Yep. But it's now filming in... November. Never. Oh. Luckily, they can ADR all that dialogue whenever, so that's fine. Yeah, as well. it's. I mean, was it the, this week or the last couple of weeks where it was finally it was finally revealed Pedro definitively? Pascal. Pedro Pascal admitted it. He's never in the suit anymore. <laughs> he's just off doing other stuff, which makes sense. Yeah, he's always always doing weird Q and A stuff. You know, on on like GQ or Vogue yeah. or something, where everybody's like, you know what I do to Pedro Pascal? <laughs> you know what I do to him? And he's like, ha ha, yeah, yep, yeah, ha ha. Mm. And it's you, and you're like, guillotine him. <laughs> that's right. I'll kill him. I'll kill the guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was revealed. Also, did you see um, Mark Hamill was asked, hey, now that they can do CGI, full CGI Luke Skywalker, and they can, but do you want to keep being Luke Skywalker for more trilogies? Mm. And he's like, no, just get a young actor. <laughs> just get a new guy. Yeah, but yeah. what if they, you know, deep fakes? And- you, know what I th- you know what I think it is? <laughs> yeah. Side note. You know what I think it is? Is that Disney doesn't want to make any more stars if they can help it. Oh, they want brands as opposed to yeah because the yeah. guy because i only recently saw the guy that was did the, uh, was the mandalorian season two yeah the standard, oh no the boba fett one or whatever yeah the yeah. stand the the, the you mean that guy who looks standard. exactly like mark hamill well that's the thing he looks exactly like mark, young mark hamill with dots on his face yeah and then they see then they remove the dots then they, took the, <laughs> they blew the dots off with a big fan <laughs> on set yeah. um he looks a lot like uh luke skywalker like an insane amount yeah. And they should have, but I think they're like, okay, what if we bring him in for a movie and it's, it does really well and everybody loves his, you know, he really embodies Luke yeah. Skywalker and everybody loves that. And then his agent comes back and is like, well, that did really well. If you want to continue the trilogy, you'll pay us more. Like, yeah. they don't want that. They That's want it to be Luke Skywalker. They want Luke yeah. Skywalker in a computer that they can yeah. bring out whenever they and want. And they don't have to pay him like, you know, Mark Hamill does a movie and they pay him $12 million or yeah. whatever, mm-hmm. which probably happened once for The Last Jedi and yeah. bits and pieces for the others. But yeah, and also they recast Solo, and yeah. they and their lesson from that was that movie didn't do well, mm. and that should not be the lesson from that movie. No, because he was not the problem yeah. with that movie, as we've talked about. Speaking I mean, of movies, and, and oh. that's that's also very relevant for this week. Yes, because Lord and Miller were the guys behind that. Absolutely, just a couple but of not dudes. the directors. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, who did direct that movie? We'll never know. We'll never know. They've never mentioned that's it. Right. <laughs> uh, the Community movie has been delayed. Community movie. Again. community movie. Community okay. movie. That's something All I do right. want to say. Hashtag community movie. Community movie. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and, of course, we've got the Batman Part 2 was going to film in November and it's now going to film in March. That's right. So those are some big movie and show that are uh, delayed but also who gives a shit, just pay people. <laughs> Mason. Just watch some old stuff you haven't watched yet. Yeah. You know, just exactly. find, find something on your wish that hasn't been deleted yet. Yeah, you could watch Sin City on your old iPad. Oh Sin my City God. 2, I could sorry. watch Sin City 2. I could watch. Somebody mentioned that in the comments and oh, I was yeah. like, wow, that is a deep that is a weekly deep planet callback that. right. and I appreciate but, it. But uh, we also saw this week that uh, we know that Disney's been deleting some stuff off Disney Plus and we were like, is that because of residuals? No, nah, it's another of those weird tax write-downs Yeah, again. it's cool. They've saved up $1.5 billion by just deleting well, a bunch of stuff and never. They need to save th- Three billion by the oh. end of the year. We talked about it a few. Oh, weeks they're halfway back. there. Yeah, they're getting. They're there, living mate. on a prayer. That's they're great. Living on a prayer. That's so good. I'm so proud of them. They're, it's my yeah. lifing it. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're laying it all down on a they've, bed they've of got roses. A, they've, they've got a door frame and they've got a pencil and they've written <laughs> one point five billion and they're right there. And it's good. And they're like, we're so proud of you. We're so proud of you. You did it. Just destroy some more livelihoods. Do it. Yeah, we're so proud of you. I do want to talk about some Disney firings in a bit as well. Oh, actually. good. Yep. I will talk about it more with Spider Verse. But anyway, Hobbs is back. Hobbs is back. Uh, this is a spoiler alert for the latest Fast X movie. Mm. Uh, it's not doing super well in the US, mm. but it is still doing okay overseas, which is like the opposite of The Little Mermaid. All right. Okay. Uh, which is yeah, domestically as in the US is mm. still doing, still holding pretty well. Anyways. Here's the is an official. I forgot we watched that. Yeah, we watched it. It's great. Last week or the week before. That's great. Or last that. year. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is via Dwayne the Rock Johnson himself. Mm. He said, "The next Fast and Furious film you'll see the legendary lawman in uh, will be Hobbs movie that will serve as a which will be. <laughs> <laughs> That's the tagline for the on the poster. This will be Hobbs movie. This will be Hobbs movie. Uh, that will serve as a fresh new chapter to set up Fast X Part Two. So Fast and Furious Ten Part Two. Okay. So this is so this a, is a pre. So this is going to ha- come out in between. Yeah. The, the, the ten we just saw. Yeah. And, and then the there's going to and then the t- well there's going to be 
so that it'll be... We saw Fast X. This is a disaster already. I hate this. Shut up, Mason. Just enjoy this big movie. Okay. You know what I think? Guillotine. <laughs> guillotine the You know rock. what? I, I think you're right. Let's <laughs> wheel out the biggest guillotine we can find and give it our best shot. Do you want to test it out to make sure it works or do you just want to put someone in it and see what happens? That is testing it out. <laughs> I guess it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's going to be Fast X, which we just got last okay, year yep. or last week. Uh-huh. Then we're getting Hobbs spinoff. Okay. Then we're getting Fast X Part 2 and then Fast X Part 3. Okay. And right. maybe even something in between. Maybe something in the middle. Yeah. Oh, my so God. There you go. Yeah. He said, last Gal summer. Gal Gadot, the submarine captain. Oh, my God. All aboard. <laughs> Fast and Furious presents Captain Gal Gadot. <laughs> <laughs> last summer, Vin and I put the fast behind us. I don't think it was last summer. Yeah. I think it was like a month ago. I also think that, yeah. Because if they did it last summer, they would have had time to integrate his in story movie. into the movie. Yeah. Mm. Uh, we'll lead with Brotherhood and Resolve and always take, which I guess means they're in the same movie, but mm. I don't, maybe not. Maybe not. Also, this isn't a Hobbs and Shaw sequel. That that ship has well, sailed apparently. that's exactly right. And mm. he said he always, uh, he always take care of the franchise characters and, and fans that we love. I've built my career on, on an audience first mentality and that will serve as my North Star. I, th- I just think that could be disputed. That audience first you think? is uh, the thing that he's doing. I think, in a manner of speaking, it is correct. But I, I, he's what he's spun is That's like- I don't take any risks. He's spun I don't take any risks in my career because I did that a couple of times and it didn't work out financially, so I'm not going to anymore. Yeah, well, I don't even know if that's the reason why he's not taking any more risks, and we'll talk about it. But THR has said, like you mentioned, it won't be Hobbs, the Hobbs and Shaw sequel, and it's not Fast 11. Think of it more like Fast X.5. I won't. <laughs> we have to. I don't. I'll say, I'll avoid it for as long as possible. I'm going to kick that can down the road for as long as I can. So I guess that's the next one, mm. right? Yeah. If this happens. If this happens, and, and that's, a far, that's a fast turnaround. Boy, is it. Just, just okay, just knocking this out, are we? If they film that, it could technically kind of be out by the end of next year. If they, mm. but they moment the writer strike, yeah, yeah, probably yeah. unlikely. Now, here's, a, here's a bit possible. of news, James, that I think you, you might uh, have something to say I'm, about. I've got more news, but you, you probably, you probably, news. you probably. Oh, okay, well, carry on then. Well, then we'll come back to your news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. so this is via the Hot Mike podcast with Jeff Snyder and John Roca, who have said, <laughs> "I'm hearing that Dwayne Johnson is having trouble getting greenlit after his last couple of movies, which are Jungle Cruise, Red Notice, and Black Adam." And we so, get greenlit after this, James, if we're mm, not grubby era. Mm-hmm, guillotine. <laughs> No. It's a crime. Oh, no. <laughs> and so basically uh, he's forced to go back to his character of Hobbs and do Fast and, the Fast and Furious franchise. And the thing that uh, doesn't bode well is that this individual who they heard this from is also saying that Red One is not good as well. That's the one where he's Santa Claus with Chris Evans or oh, something. Oh, yeah, right. Or whatever. Probably also Ryan Reynolds. Here's another bit of uh, – this, un- this is unrelated to the other bit of news yeah. that I had. But uh, – isn't Vin Diesel feuding with Jason Momoa now or something? Uh, that's, supposedly, I've, got, I've allegedly. got all that here. But we can do this in between. But just quickly on this. Yes. As I've said before, like I've mentioned this, like he doesn't have any iconic characters and that's why he's going mm. back to this. Yeah, yeah. I know people have also said, well, his wrestling is. And I, totally, mm. I would agree yeah, yeah, with that yeah. if I've watched any of that, which I mm. haven't. But that's probably his iconic true. cooking. Yeah. Mm. I think you just need to strip it back mm-hmm. and do something like small and good mm. and get a really – interesting director and writer or whatever yeah, yeah. and build something from there. Like Keanu Reeves and John Wick. Mm. Just make a really successful franchise like that. Just do that. Easy. Just a be- beautiful looking, just amazing action. Now action. we're going to get bloody Hobbs Wick or something, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yep. It's just a man yeah. steamrolling everybody never getting hurt. Mm. It's just not – like the like, Oh, yeah, that would be it. The goal it? They'll be also, like, well, this, this is – yeah. And just to be like the legendary lawman – Let's be serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's be serious with one another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's he's probably not even his most legendary lawman that he's played. How about this? Hobbing tall. <laughs> sure. te- we team up Hobbs yeah. and whatever his character's name was in Walking Tall, the guy with a bit of wood. Mr. Tall. Mr. Tall. <laughs> and they're brothers. Yeah, they'd have to be brothers. They're brothers. Yeah. So- or they're unrelated. They just look alike. That's fine. Yeah, care. that's fine too. It doesn't care. matter. I don't care. Yeah, nobody's listening. <laughs> Nobody will be listening for the first 10 minutes, yeah. so it doesn't matter. I think he will, like, he's a very good chance that he'll be back and he'll mm. be, like, on top of the world again. But I yeah. don't know whether Hobbs mm. is, who cares, Yeah, is my point. But it could be great. Yeah. Because movies, I hope, I, I, every now and then you watch a movie and you go, wow, that's right. Yeah. This is what a good movie looks like. That's right. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel some other people would have... That would be a more common experience for them because they don't see every movie that comes <laughs> yeah, out. They don't right. go to the movies upwards of twice a week and be like, this is bad. 
but I have to talk about this. I mean, nobody else is going to. We're going to get a lot of feedback that's like, I didn't watch this. <laughs> well, we did. Well, we did. <laughs> Not this week, obviously. No. Mm. No, there's been, there's been some good stuff this year. That's true, yeah. yeah. Anyways, you have a bit of news before we do the beef. Well, my bit of news, and I think maybe this is this is probably, you may have already discussed this on your less popular podcast, Suggestible. Yeah, less mm. popular, but very good. But for people, but just for the people out there, we, we know we know some of our listeners are, and just like that, heads. Oh, oh, Mason, I cannot wait to bring this up. Oh, yes. We have not brought it up yet. No. It feels so, good to be right. Oh, yes. So, anyway. so big revealed is that uh, I'm only bringing it up because of the circumstances I think are quite funny. Yeah. Kim Cattrall is returning yes. for the new season of And Just Like That, the Sex and the City. We reboot. did a spin off spin off podcast. Yeah, that, I remember that. Yeah. Season, yeah. Anyway, she swore she would never return because there's bad blood between her and Sarah Jessica Parker. Yep. But she is returning, and it's going to be. Right at the – they've just revealed it. What I love well, is they just like – this is what this it's going to be. This is exactly what it is. Because otherwise you build up people's yeah. hope. If yeah. you're just like, she's returned, yeah, people yeah. are going to be like, to do what? But they're like, no, <laughs> it's right at the end. It's one scene. She's going to be on the phone to them and she's not going to film with them and she's not going to film with the, the producers. They're just going to – I think they just went, we'll bring you in. You'll be in and out in two hours and we'll give you a million dollars. I think and she so went, too. okay. Yeah. I they probably went agree. they probably went, you know what? You hate everybody on this show, but the fans love you and they thought your character was great and blah, blah, blah. And there'll yeah. be a big positive reaction. And she went, fine, I'll do no, it. I'll do wait, it the fans let me finish a million dollars. A million dollars, I'll say. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get a million dollars. Yeah, I think that's exactly what And happened. she'd be like, We're factoring in traffic, right? We're factoring in L- LA traffic. We're but filming I'm- it at your house, but yes, we can factor in traffic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With, with, yeah, that's. I'm very excited for this. I'm not going to watch it, obviously. But no. I, well, do you think that signals the return of her for and just like that season three though? As oh, a reg, as on the reg. No. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you're going to sound. I like think a she's real... going to be like, I'm defusing a bomb here, guys, and I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> I just wanted to say I love you, but I'm not saying your name specifically. <laughs> I'm just saying I love you guys. <laughs> yeah, that would yeah. be great. Yeah. Now, so the reason you bring that up is because. Claire and I talked about it, and I have said since day one, and I, I played it safe. Since day right, dot. Day dot. I said there's a very real possibility mm. that she will return, and I was like, because of money. Yeah, and Claire yeah. was like, no, because she said she never <laughs> principles. would, et cetera, principles, She's et cetera. basing it on principles, and you're basing yeah. it on money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I think I think you're absolutely I, – I, I didn't even say definitely. Right. All I did was left – I left the door open oh, slightly. Yeah. I didn't even like. Yeah. I, I win either way. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I never one hundred percent committed no, to it. No, that's true. That's the way you got to do it. You got to be very sneaky. Mm. Um. Anyway. anyway, tune into Suggestible this week on Thursday. You're gonna rip it. I'm your gonna life. absolutely fucking rinse Claire. <laughs> that's the, oh, that's a bit of sizzle, isn't it? That's great. <laughs> Basically, that's has the guillotine ready as well. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is this is the Sex and the City equivalent of a Hobbs returning or a Paul Walker it returning. It totally is. Like this is it. Nobody thought this would happen. Yep. I completely agree. Yeah. Anyways, Mason, yes. this is via Radar Online. And I just want to point out, and this has been reported by like most of the major outlets, that this is very much a rumor. Oh, yep. And there's a very good chance that this is not true. Okay? So grain of salt. Okay. Mason, but take, your, on... take your grain of salt. Okay. Mm. It's got a tiny little guillotine. Yes. I'm and it's cyanide. It it. <laughs> yeah. All right. But bearing – is this about this is about Fast and Furious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, bearing in mind, of course, that a lot of the vicious rumours about the Fast and Furious franchise in the past have also been true. That's true. So, but yeah. some rumours are not true, Mason. That's true. So sources revealed that uh, Desperate Diesel – this is mean, this article. That's what I love about it mm. also. De- the, source, I just hit record on the backup recorder. I just hit record on this one. Oh, so that's we're doing that's really great. well. So it's synced up. That's yeah. terrific. Sources revealed that Desperate Diesel is unwilling to accept that. I he like w- that name. Yeah. If he was running against Trump, that's what Trump would call him. One hundred percent. He's the king of uh, Sting, basically. Yeah, that's, yeah you yeah. gotta believe it. Yeah, is unwilling to accept that he might have played a role in the poor reviews and is throwing Momoa under the bus, even though Jason is one of the few aspects of the film that critics praised. Mm. Vin is embarrassed. Jason is being branded as uh, the only bright spot in the film and stealing his thunder in the franchise he built himself. Said a source. Inside, it said the strong man is being. T- <laughs> Has been telling Fred's Jason's overacting and scene stealing undermined his movie, which drew a wimpy 57% rating Ooh. on Rotten Tomatoes, but Ooh. still opened to a strong box office somewhat. Wow. Vin has reportedly already put the evil eye on his, <laughs> on his new co star, <laughs> right. who joined the franchise at an estimated $5 million salary to play flamboyant villain Dante. Sources said Jason has become aware of Vin's bad mouthing. Jason knows he's the flavor of the moment, and Vin's jealous of him, said a source. But he doesn't appreciate Vin trying to poison the public against him. 
This has the potential to be Hollywood's next biggest feud. Oh, oh. what do you reckon? Uh, not about whether it's true. Oh, okay. I mean, you can say that. I don't care. I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's true. He is the highlight of that movie. Yeah, that movie is way worse without him. It's by like eighty percent. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And it's not even great, <laughs> even with him in it. Sure. But, yeah, I mean, he's going to have to at least appear in one more movie. Right. So Unless he, they knock him off right at the right – the, maybe they knock him off in the new Hobbs one. Mm. Or maybe they, they maybe they kill him in the next one and then um, Charlize Theron's character is like, I'm back. And I'm, I'm bad. back and mean again. I'm back and I'm mean and I'm bad. Mm. And i got a bad haircut again. That's right. Like I used to have. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Just, just um, here's the thing as well. If you watch Vin Diesel in like an interview or a red carpet or his mm. weird face in a red carpet, in a red carpet, he's wrapped. He's been up. rolled up. Yeah. By, he's rolled up in it by bullies. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> or like his weird Facebook live stuff. Mm. He does have more kind of life and character and jokes, and he's more interesting. Yeah. as a personality. And he doesn't do the voice. Doesn't do that. Well, you watch him in his movies, and he's just looking at monitors, being like, "Oh, but good." Mm. Like it's as I mentioned in the review. Sorry, what, what was that, Dom Toretto? I said, uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's boring. Mm. He needs to like talk to people and be more charismatic. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? Like these movies aren't as big as they are because of him. Right, he is a factor. Yeah, and I think like the marketing definitely from him even personally because he's like got the biggest. Facebook following of anything. He's got the biggest face of anyone. <laughs> he might have the biggest face. But and also, um, but I think he's committed to the character. Like yeah. as as much yeah, well, no, you're right. As yeah. much as we make fun of him for lots of things, he I think he when he makes a movie, he wants it to be Gruff guy. Gruff guy. And, but he, and he's committed. He's like, I'm not I can't break character. I can't change this guy's arc now. Yeah. You know, because he's always talking about fancy movie makers and so forth. Yeah. You know, he's always talking about It's like this is just like a coppola or whatever. Exactly. He's like, this is this so is Star Wars actually. The, Which is it? Is it Coppola <laughs> or is it Star Wars? It was so Fellini esque when the big bomb <laughs> oh, yeah, rolled right. rolled into Venice that. or whatever, you know? Well that is true that yeah, one yeah, though. Yeah. But uh but uh, so I think he's like, well I can't if I if I want to remake this character, I'm, I'm gonna have to give him a big life event to yeah. make him become jolly. Or a brain or transplant. Brain like transplant. John Cena. Yeah. I'm willing to give him a brain yeah. transplant. Anyways, how do you feel about at least, and I say at least, three more of these movies? I would love three more of these movies. You would love it, I'm still you? on board with these. I'm, ba- I'm back on board with ten. I didn't love nine. Yeah. But, you know, you, once again, it's not my money. It's interesting. That's, that's right. But it's interesting when you've got... I mean, it's my $20 of the bloody... The bloody $20, year. you bloody wish, mate. Mm. But it's interesting that there are all these interesting people that they bring into it, and yet they don't all stand in the same room together. That's true, yeah. And I think that's the key to a movie. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe have your actors be in the same, same space. Room, yeah. mm-hmm. It's not the only thing, yeah, 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 but it's yeah. one of the things. Yeah, I think probably Orson Welles, if, if were he alive today, he might suggest that to Vincent Diesel. Yes, exactly. You might be like, oh, have you ever been in the same room? <laughs> yeah. You're right. That's what mm-hmm. might be what he said. Yeah. Uh, and I know people have said cross- – I was Unicron, you know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> I know um, people have said like crossover with Transformers. Mm-hmm. I say – don't. Oh, yeah? I know there's been rumours that they're going to do that with G.I. Joe. I think that works better. Mm-hmm. I don't want, like, the worst aspect of the Transformers movies yes. are all the people in it, and I don't mm. want these fucking people right. in the Transformers movies. All the worst people. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Characters, I just mm. want to clarify. Yeah. Mm. Characters. Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyways. Yes. Trailers Ahoy, just the one person. <laughs> Wow, we got one for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. It's the newest one. Uh, I played a little bit in the cinema when I saw Spider-Verse, actually. Did oh, yeah. It, did it play for you, I the newest so. one? Yeah, but uh, uh, not all of it. You're right. Yeah, yeah. It's just a, a, an edited portion. Yeah, That's right. Looks great. Looks. Re- I like that they're not doing DreamWorks Pixar face on mm. it. I love. Yeah, yeah. And it's not like it's a copy of Spider-Verse. Mm. It's a different style of Yeah, but I, sus- uh, I, suspect, that, I suspect it has come from the idea of People have seen Spider Verse and yes. thought we can we can break out of the mold of doing the DreamWorks stuff, yeah, all the Pixar stuff, and Pixar and, is in trouble. Yeah, and but we'll this but that. this is such a great like uh, unlike the Spider Verse movies, which sort of bounce between animation styles and do all sorts of interesting things. Yeah, this does have seems to have a very consistent look, but it it sort of looks like it's been filled in with yeah. it. everything. Looks like it's been filled in with a, with a, with coloured pencils with or a crayon marker. or something with a marker or something. Yeah, Absolutely. looks really good. No, and great. we got a, we got a little more of the the plot. It seems it's um superfly. There's so many mutants in this. We get yeah. we got a little look at Bebop and Rocksteady. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. 
Yeah. No shredder thus far. Probably yeah. in the post credits. Post credits, no doubt. Mm, yeah. So yeah. Uh, will it be good? I don't know. But I, I, I like the look yeah. of this. And uh, we found out this week that Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross are doing the soundtrack. <laughs> really? Yep. That's great. I agree. Okay. So that's not Of nothing. Nine Inch Nails for fame, for people who don't know. Do you mean the implement or the band? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I just kept seeing it mentioned in stuff over my lifetime and I'm like, I, I don't know. Yeah, one of I'm not interested, in, <laughs> not interested in looking this up. Okay. Well, you don't have yeah, to. Yeah. Mason. Yes. Drama. Drama. More drama, Mason. You're speaking my language. I know we had drama, but this is mm. a big week for drama. Good. So, uh, oh, first, this has been mostly drama. This is the big drama episode. I agree. Mm. Samantha, the other thing. You're going to make one. fun of your wife. I'm going to make fun of my wife. That's right. <laughs> on another podcast. Uh, so Oppenheimer mm. will be, first of all, uh, Nolan's longest film, and it's also going to be his first R-rated movie since Insomnia. And his physically longest film and his heaviest film, apparently. People were like, this the, 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 the film's going to weigh 600 pounds or whatever. I don't See that? Just pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> I'll just pick it up. Just pick it up, Mason. Wow. 600 pounds. Come on, that's nothing. Also, it's digital. It's fine. <laughs> Actually, it's not. I think it's shot on actual. It's film. on IMAX, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that. That brings us to this. This is via Puck News. Okay. Tom Cruise oh. has been scurrying around. Tom Cruise Hollywood. on Puck News. Tom, yeah, that's right. Okay. He's been scurrying around Hollywood. Is that the expression they used? <laughs> yeah, like yeah. a little rat. That's not something I said. Mm. Uh, complaining to Paramount executives because Mission Impossible. Are they all in different places? Yeah, that yeah. Way he's, he's scuttling around. He's running through the vents. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. They won't take a meeting with him, so he's. <laughs> <laughs> Mission Impossible 7 has booked most of the IMAX screens okay. for the week of the film's July 12th opening. Okay. But then on July 21st, Universal's Oppenheimer mm. comes out, right? Yeah. So, and that's going to lock in all the IMAX screens in North America Whoa. and other territories for a full three weeks, which pushes Mission Impossible 7 Part 1 or whatever it is. Mm. Off the screens, and Tom Cruise is not happy about this. He's calling around, being like, "How hey, can, we, hey, man, <laughs> uh, how can I change this?" And his point is, mm-hmm. and I think this is valid, is that Mission Impossible will be a bigger box office draw. That might not mm. be true, right? Uh-huh. But I think it's that's fair to be like. This has more universal appeal in terms of like yeah. it's an action franchise that's been going forever and, yeah, and yeah, whatever. Yeah. I don't think Oppenheimer will. Bomb. <laughs> um, it could even do better. I just got that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got it immediately. Yes. Or you just laughed. <laughs> that mm. might not end up being true. Yeah. But I see his point. But also, Christopher Nolan left Warner Brothers for Universal. That's true. Because Acrimoniously. They, that's right. Because they pushed all and of them. Acrobatically. Their moves. Acrobat- <laughs> he did a flip out did the window. Flip. Because they moved. I'm going to do a big flip now. <laughs> I'm going to flip out of here. Acrimoniously. <laughs> Um, because they put all their movies onto streaming in 2021, whenever it was. We mm. talked about it. Yeah. Not his, mm. but everybody else's. So he was like, I'm not, I don't want to be part of this anymore. So he left. And I you don't know, want to be a part of this anymore. Acrimoniously. Mm. And he, yeah, so he flipped out the window. <laughs> and I want to leap out the window on the end of this big scarf. <laughs> big scarf. An episode with a big scarf. So I think that Universal mm. will absolutely not only go into bat for, like, this movie to keep mm. these three weeks, but also to keep Nolan happy. Yeah. Because if they cave to this, mm. I'm sure there is multiple contract stipulations that he has put in. He's probably the most sought-after director, probably. Maybe, yeah. One of the top mm. three. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I bet Tom Cruise feels personally betrayed here because remember when Tenet came out and he was like, oh, but the movies – I invented movies. I invented movies, but I'm here at a different movie. Yeah. And, and I'm here to support movies and movies are back. And we were like, Tom, they're not back. Yeah. Well, and also this is a weird movie to announce that movies are back, <laughs> if, if we're honest. Well, that's the thing because Tom Cruise uh, has been heralded and Spielberg, I think, even said this, that he brought back movies after COVID mm. with Top Gun. Yeah. And that's – there's absolutely – like there's a degree of truth to that. It's true. I think it's still – Recovering. I mm. think we're, we're not where we were in terms of, you know, numbers, and I don't think it's a woke thing or whatever. I think people have did been seeing less movies, but mm. we're seeing that kind of ramp up, mm. you know, if they're good. Yep. Bad movies can, you know, can not do as well. Interesting thought you have there, yeah, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a tweet I saw that I thought was interesting. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's from Joe Bro Royco. He said, whoever's in charge of release dates for Paramount needs to find God. 
Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> between John Wick and Mario, Transformers between Spider Verse and Flash, yeah. and now Mission Impossible the week before Oppenheimer and Barbie. Terrible at their job. Yeah, I think that's actually, that's that makes a lot. Because remember when I mean Dungeons and we Dragons is great, and but they got annihilated. Yeah. We were like, <laughs> it was we were like, everyone was like, this is so much fun, yeah. and I think you can take your kids and it'll be a bit of fun. If, and, if that, and Dungeons and Dragons is good now, and then Mario came out and just annihilated everything. Yeah. If that came out in like January, yeah. that would have had a clean run for like yeah. a while. But now it's a failure. It's a big failure. We'll yeah. never see another one. Yeah. And yeah. the same with Pro- Rise of the Beast will do okay, but I mean, then Flash will come out and again. Well, that strong. and Spider Man's doing really well. Yeah. And also, The Little Mermaid is mm. in the US at least is still holding pretty strong. Yeah. You know? so. But I guess what are they going to do? Not release anything for the rest of the year? Yes. Yeah, good. Find God. Yeah. Anyway, so let's find out if Tom Cruise gets stuck in a vent or he gets his way. Okay. Anyway, last bit of news, Mason. Oh, yes. Spy Variety. Producer Amy Pascal oh, has yes. said that a Spider-Woman and live-action Miles Morales movie are in the works. All right. You'll see all of it, she said at the Across the Spider-Verse premiere in Los Angeles. It's all happening. Now, I would say this. Go on. Off the back of, like, these last two Spider-Verse movies, uh-huh. casting Miles Morales and being that character, yes. that's very difficult to do. Mm. It, can, it absolutely can be done because... Yeah. Spider-Man has been recast like three times in the That's past true. decade or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like this is now I feel like an A great an A tier character. Yeah, for sure. So this is like that's a big deal to I saw to it bring compared to on Twitter I saw this compared to First uh, Iron Man? No, I meant more in character wise. Okay. It was uh that in in the comics the Barry Allen Flash was replaced by the mm. Wally West Flash and and he became equally as popular as the original, whereas that doesn't happen a lot. But I'm like, this is blo- I think this has blown it out of the water in terms – like, this is way more. Like, yeah. Because that's a comic-specific I mean, yeah. thing. Like, if you said who's the Flash to most people, they go, I don't know. Yeah. But if you said who's Spider-Man, they'd go, well, it's Peter Parker or it's Miles Morales. So I mean, you look at the new – they both had video games. I yeah. don't know Miles was the second one, but he was in the first one. The new mm. Spider-Man game, they you, bo- you play as both of them. Mm. That is a shared game. Yeah, yeah. Like he's a he's and like an A list character. That's now. true. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Mm. Also, producer Abby Arad. Anyway, that that just means Sony's gonna <laughs> make a real hatchet job. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Their mainline movies have been okay. Mm. Venom, Morbius, obviously not as much. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, producer Abby Arad uh, teased that moviegoers will see Spider Man movie sooner than you'd expect. And Amy Pascal has said, are we going to make another movie, as in Spider-Man 4? Of course we are, she said. We're in the process. But the writer strike, nobody is working during the strike. She says nobody wants to work anymore. Oh, <laughs> say that. guillotine. Uh, we're all being supporters, and whenever they get uh, get themselves together, we'll get started. So there you go. I mean, oh, okay. we already knew that was happening, but yeah. it's, it's pretty much a lock yeah, uh, yeah. at this point. I think all the actors are probably signed contracts at this point. And, mm. and we move forward. We move forward. As one, it'll it'll be nice when Tom Holland finally looks like an adult, and then we can bring in a Miles Morales, like a like a well as a, as a, as a younger this week junior Spider Man. Twenty seven, okay. which was notable because that's the age that Tobey Maguire was in the first Spider Man movie. Oh, okay. So you know, all right, okay. A little boys growing up, Mason. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> the maybe boy- we could maybe we could do the Miles Morales version in a different universe. Maybe you, we could. You re- you reckon? Maybe I don't know. Nah. I mean, he started I mean, in he started a different, different universe. universe, but I think I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we've, we'll talk about it, but, like, there's hints in the MCU that he exists. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Anyways. Mm. Just before we get started, yes. I wanted to say, well, off air, we had a conversation about the the latest uh, Harrison Ford media circus. Oh, yeah. And people have been asking him <laughs> stuff like, who would win in a fight between Solo and yeah. Har- Harrison Ford or whatever? And he's and he's finally snapped, which I think is yeah. I mean, he snaps all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think that's He's continuing think, to snap. I would ask him, like, who do you think would win in a fight? Your character in Six Days, Seven Nights. Or um, Firewall, or your character in Firewall, whatever his deal was. <laughs> do you think? Do you think Six Days Seven Nights could breach the firewall, Harrison? Oh, that's I don't right. know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what a firewall is. I've never known, and I'll never learn. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> Great stuff. I've actually got two and a half more minutes. Harrison, no, you Ford. don't. <laughs> you got two and a half more minutes to live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do yeah, love that. Fun. We've got another, at least another couple of weeks of yeah. Harrison Ford doing weird interviews. Yeah, <laughs> uh, because he's also in the era where I don't necessarily think he'll do it, but like 
hot ones, eating snacks. Oh like, my god! Throwing basketballs at him while he answers trivia. You yeah, know, yeah. just like all this. Well, every once in a while, he has a really good interview, and that's the thing. Yeah. Like that's what people are. People are rolling the dice, and you said you would you would ask him the the, the annoying questions <laughs> yeah, just would. to see if he'd blow up. But every once in a while, they go, "Oh my god!" And he got you know you got a really nuanced answer, or, look, or sometimes they'll be like, "Oh my god!" It looks like he's having a fun time with yeah, this interview. Absolutely. You think he'd enjoy hot ones? He might. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. He might. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know whether he'd turn to dust. Like his face would melt like in an Indiana Jones movie, Mason. I think he'd get absolutely greenlit before the show and then he wouldn't react at all. It, it was, would be my guess. That would be pretty incredible. Yeah. Just stoic all the way mm. through. Do you say that Charlie's the wrong one? Doesn't yeah. react at all. Nothing. No. Incredible. Apparently also she turned up because often they people turn up with like handlers and whatever. Yeah, right. She turned up on her own and just met them in the car park just with a packet of cigarettes. <laughs> okay. I fucking love that. Yeah, that's good. That is good stuff. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she showed up. She's like, yeah, I, I ate all the hot one sauces in the car on the way over. <laughs> uh, so you just we just pile them all up and eat them in the one go? Is that, <laughs> is that how this works? All right. Okay, so Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Oh, yes. On a budget of $100 million because, you know, animation is practically basic, free, basically isn't it? Free. Yeah, it's practically free. You can do anything and it's free, which is great. Yeah, it's a similar cost to that of the Super Mario Brothers movie, actually. Mm. Um, but the box office initial prediction for this was about an $80 million US opening weekend. Because the original didn't do that well. It, it did, did fine. It did well over time. The opening yeah. weekend, it got $35 million, yeah, right. which was, I mean, I, I saw it, you know, obviously part of I work. saw it too. In, but then when, <laughs> you did. Yeah. Well done. But then when the trailer came out, I was like, huh, this might be something. And clearly over the last five years, mm. which it which is the length of time it has been, mm. that this is just built on streaming That's true. and word of mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people know this movie because now the official estimates are closer to 120 million. That's big. Probably potentially more. That's worldwide? Or- no, that's just US. Ooh. Which I think if it hits that, that's like the third highest animation opening ever. Oh, my goodness. So behind like Toy Story 4 and... One of the Frozen's are incredible. Oh, there was know. some Toy Story news this week. I don't know. Well, not Toy Story news. I'm gonna, but... I'll work that into okay, this. Okay, right, right, right. Dis- think... Disney news generally. Yeah, Pixar absolutely. News. Mm. So this is doing really well, Yeah, which is good because what a, fa- good. what a fantastic movie. It's a good movie. My goodness. What do you think the story was? Ah, oh, all right. First of all, we're going to do non-spoilers. That's true. But I would say go into this blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Stab your own eyes out. That's right. <laughs> you'll let, you'll well, afterwards, it afterwards, watch it, and then once you've beheld the majesty, stab your own you eyes out. You won't need them anymore. You won't need them anymore because everything else will be a disappointment. Mm-hmm. So, you know. Anyway, what do you think the story was? Oh, okay, so Miles Morales. Remember, he was t- he was like, I'm, I'm, I got Spider-Man powers. Yep. Remember last time? And he's like, that. I'm going to save the day. Mm-hmm. And now he's been doing a nice job. And I appreciate that. That he's a Spider-Man that people generally seem to like. Yeah. <laughs> good. Because you hate how they packed all the misery, right, into yeah. a lot of yeah, those yeah, Spider-Man yeah. movies. Exactly. But this one, they're like, everybody loves the new Spider-Man. Yeah. He's the pretty most good. Part. But he's like, oh, what happened? Remember Gwen Stacy? Remember her? Yep. She was all, she, she's another dimension. I wish Gwen Stacy were here. Mm-hmm. Then bingo, bango, she is. But why? Dimensional stuff. Spider-Man stuff. Spider-Man stuff as well. Absolutely. Mm. And Spider-Woman stuff. Mm. Mm. And it goes from there. And a dinosaur. And there's other things that <laughs> pop up. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you are so inclined. I liked how every character in this has moved forward. Like we get the return of others, obviously, which we'll get mm. to. But Miles now is kind of like he's more of a mean, surly teenager. He's about 15. Uh-huh. And there's also believable differences in like – his personality between this and the last movie, but also how he's evolved as Spider-Man mm. and also him in comparison to all the other spider people. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. he's, he's been working on his craft and he has his own specific type of spider Manning. That's true. And you see that at play multiple times during this movie, yeah, which yeah, I yeah. thought was really terrific. And you get like a lot of that from a lot of other characters. Like we get more of Gwen's backstory, mm. for example, and yeah, yeah. what happened to her Peter Parker and, that's right. And all of that. And, Characters like Peter B. Parker return. These are all things mm. in the trailers I yeah, just want to yeah, specify. Yeah. And he's not just like, oh, I'm the same as last time. Like he's moved. Yeah, yeah. Like certain other Spider-Man movies <laughs> that might have come out in the last few years where they're like, I haven't done anything for 10 years. <laughs> I just sat in my room. I just sat in my room and I'm, I'm sad. How's your relationship, Spider-Man? Don't well, have any. Well, you know, it goes how it goes. Shut up, idiot. <laughs> Get out of here. Do something. I did enjoy No Way Home. Yeah, so. But, this you is know, a lot better. This is a better movie. <laughs> yeah. This is a better movie. Yeah. Honestly. In, in, it's a better movie in terms of, well, I, I think something people are going to 
you know, have been discussing and some have been critical of is, is fan service and cameos and et cetera, which I'm sure we'll talk about in spoilers. Yeah. But I think... You could take all that out and this would Yeah, I think the difference work. here is that a lot of the cameo like a lot of the cameos are absolutely blink and you'll miss them. Yeah. And then but the difference I think is in Spider-Man No Way Home. If you watch that at home, mm. Spider-Man No Way Home at home, yeah. you'll find that when, you know, the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man shows up, there's just a noticeable amount of silence. Yeah. Because they're, they're like, well, this is where people are gonna hoot and holler for like 30 seconds. So we'll just have nothing. And happen. they did. Yeah, they did. I mean they did, and I did at home. <laughs> um, but in this, just, it's just like, yeah, you know, blink and you'll miss it. Zip zap, here we zip, go. Zap. That and, was a dinosaur. Yeah. You'll never see it again. <laughs> and there's also, I've also seen criticism about how certain characters are treated, but we'll talk about that in, sure. in spoilers, but uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll make a note of it. Absolutely. Put a, put a note in your, in your, I'll put a pin in a note. Pilot. Okay. Yeah. And let me get the pen out. <laughs> I lost the pen. <laughs> what did surprise me also, and it shouldn't have. Okay. But I think off the back of like the Mario movie. Uh, which is pretty much the joy in that people seem to gleam from it. And there's nothing wrong with this because I think, and we talked about it as a kid's movie. Seeing the stuff. It's fine. It's just seeing the stuff. This Mm. is seeing the stuff if you want to see the stuff Uh on top of just layers of writing and storytelling. But if you just want the layers of writing and storytelling and you don't want to see the stuff, you're out of luck. (laughs) I'd rather not see the stuff, quite frankly. There was multiple times during this when like, they throw a twist or a character development or something that linked back to a previous thing in a previous movie or another dimension or whatever. And I'm just, I remember thinking, shit, they really, they thought about this. Yeah. Like it genuinely caught me off guard a couple Mm. of times because, you know, a lot of movies, they just like animated movies in particular. And I think there are obvious exceptions to this, Mm -hmm. but just the, the, the level of detail in this that clearly went into just mapping this out. Mm. And I see why this took five years, not only animation wise, because mm. it has like it's leaps and bounds ahead of anything else that has probably yeah. ever been out. And even the first one, which is still yeah. an incredible looking movie. Mm. But And even this flip book I've made. <laughs> <laughs> that sucked. Yeah, I know. It's better than that. Though, that was it? never good. Oh. Not even for a second, <laughs> which is how long it basically went for. Mm. But yeah, it, it really surprised me. It, mm. like, genuinely, it, it, it feels like a new era in, in animation. Is anybody else gonna? Well, step let's up talk to about layer, that. But who knows? Look, listen, and I think this is like a Disney problem across the board, mm-hmm. and that bleeds into a lot of, but not all of Marvel and Star Wars and uh-huh. Willow as well, probably, mm-hmm. which is now off Disney streaming. If oh, you're yeah, interested, that's right. but they need to change. Mm. And I'm talking more, I guess, specifically about the animation and what happened with, you know, with Pixar this week. Because what basically Pixar are doing, it's a lot of just like it's a brand that you've seen before, Mm -hmm. like a light year. Or it's like, I don't know, what if your feet had a face and it had emotions or whatever? Ah! (laughs) That would be messed up. It would be messed up. This year from Pixar, messed up. (laughs) Your messed up feet. (laughs) They have faces and they argue. (laughs) It's it's annoying. Yeah. And look, there are still good Pixar movies. Mm, And obviously. Like your messed up feet. I love that one, honestly. (laughs) Yeah, it was really Why cool. didn't you take the bins out? Because I'm a foot. We need to work together to take the bins out. God. Yeah. Really got me. Right? Spoke to me as a dad. Yeah. As someone yeah. who has feet and takes bins, bins out. out yeah. yeah. So they laid off 75 in- I just love taking the bins out with you. I didn't want to admit it. <laughs> it's the best part of taking the bins out as I do with you. <laughs> so... so this week they laid off seventy five employees. Yeah. A lot of a lot were also the people behind Lightyear. Yeah, because Lightyear was supposed to be a franchise in itself. Mm. Uh, it it it's it's not great. We've talked about yep. it, mm-hmm. uh, and it bombed. And it's just kind of they've kind of pushed it aside. Yeah. And uh, wasn't but, even as good as my flip book, as far as I'm concerned. That's probably not true. But it's interesting because they fired also Galen uh, Sussman, who was the woman, if you recall this story, mm. when uh, in the late 90s, somebody accidentally deleted Toy Story 2 off the server. Yeah, they did it. They did, they they put in a special command line by accident that deleted off everything somehow. Yeah. This is the original version of Toy Story. This yes. Is the, 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 they, I, if I remember correctly, they, they eventually pretty much remade it. No. Oh. This woman that they fired had yeah. it on a home computer. No, that's true, but didn't they, didn't they then go on to like... No, no, this is the one they released. Oh. They would have lost this movie. Oh. They, and, like, Toy Story 2 established 
Toy Story as a franchise. That's true. And also allowed them to, like, it gave them the money mm. to branch out into cars. Cars and various Planes. cars. And my feet take bins out and whatever. Ah! <laughs> All of these things. Yeah, yeah. And now when you look at, like, Alamo. steps on some Lego. <laughs> You didn't warn me. <laughs> when you look at like Elementals coming out, mm. and I haven't seen is it. Is it? Maybe it's already out. No, it, it might be on streaming. But also you look at something like Elemental and yeah. you're like, I'll watch that at home. Mm. Like I'll probably see it because I'll, I'll need to kill an afternoon and I'll take my kids. Yeah. I wouldn't see that otherwise. I would see this. Yeah, right. Absolutely mm. in a heartbeat, which I did. Yeah, you um, did. Sure. So they can't just. You can't do that shit anymore. Mm. You need to. You need to move forward. Mm. You know, you, and that's th- what this is. Pixar is not setting any trends. Yeah. Mm. You know, yeah, yeah. Serious, sad, interstellar, Buzz Lightyear, where all these friends have died due to time dilation. Mm. That's not going to put butts on seats, unfortunately. Mm. Anyways, here's a question for you. Go on. How much multiverse can we be doing, and can it get better? Because we've got some really good stuff. Obviously, there was No Way Home. Mm-hmm, sure, sure. Uh, there was Multiverse of Madness. Multiverse of Madness. There was the one that won all the Oscars, Everything Everywhere All oh, at yeah, Once. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's this. Mm-hmm. A couple of weeks we're getting The Flash. Yeah. Do you think, I mean, the I, the reason I think why this works isn't because it has the multiverse. No. But what do you think? Are we going to be getting multiverse forever? I, th- I think the, 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 the reason this works is that the idea of the multiverse gives us the opportunity to show so many diverse kind of different animation styles and mm. sort of integrate them pretty much seamlessly. Yeah. I, re- I reckon after this I'll be pretty much done with multiverse stuff. Well, you got to watch The Flash. Yeah, and I've got to watch Kang Dynasty or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, unless they redo that entire, who knows. It, they might. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon, look, I reckon if, the, if all that, if the Marvel multiverse stuff goes ahead, the MCU mm. multiverse, I think that my feeling would be that they'll cap it off there and, and, and wise people – involved in the production of this sort of stuff will go, okay, now we're going to go back to street level stuff. Yeah. We're going to go back to, you know. And, or and, something new. Or something new. But, yeah, but, you know, and I think maybe perhaps maybe the, one of the ways they could kick this off is if they do, uh, you know, they finish off this Miles Morales Spider-Man saga, mm. then he goes back to being just a regular Spider-Man guy and yep. doing Spider-Man stuff, maybe in the live action movie. And it's just him, you know, solving some street level crime and there's there's a, per, you know, personal touch and, you know, he's helping out the little people of the community or whatever, and I think that would that would be good. You don't think they're just going to keep getting bigger and oh, like a double multiverse? Yeah, double, wow, double multiverse. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a lot, isn't it? Mm. It's a lot of multiverse. That's right. Anyways, just to get back to, I guess, this movie, mm. I love if we must, if we must. I loved all the variations on, like you mentioned, like the different animation styles. One of the first villains we see is this weird kind of Da Vinci esque drawing mm. that's kind of this parchment paper kind of. Mm, yeah, creature he, situation. Yes, we uh, we'll talk about it in spoilers, I think. But yeah, just this this um and even the way it like fights and what it has on it. And mm. I guess this is sort of a spoiler, not super much. I guess mm. is it not super much? I don't think it's super much. Yeah, all of that, and even like I noticed the sound design in this as well. Like there were like just I just like the levels of detail, the way that everybody mm. moved sounded differently. Yeah. Like a lot of the times, uh-huh. and I know apparently also because the mix in this is just so like bizarre. That it, apparently some cinemas are not like oh, interesting, doing right. as well. Apparently, okay, I didn't. Right. I didn't find that at all. No, I thought it was quite yeah. uh, uh, audible. <laughs> sure, and that's what you want. I think that's what you want. Exactly, Christopher Nolan. If you're listening, yeah, exactly. Well, I prefer it hard to hear. <laughs> Christopher Nolan. Yes, yes, yes. One of my. Sometimes I talk quite quietly. <laughs> he does often, doesn't he? <laughs> so it should make more. I'm going to blow up a big thing. <laughs> blow up the biggest thing ever. So for real, it's going to be right, real. That's right. mm. So Shamik Moore's great mm. as Miles Morales. I was going to say as well, yeah, you're absolutely right. In, in terms of voice cast, mm. if the voice cast were bad, we would notice. Like if, yeah. if, if, the, if the animation was sort of era-defining and then it was like, look out, Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> look out. Look out. What is that? <laughs> look, at, look out. <laughs> yeah. So I think, you know, it's yeah. a credit to the voice cast, I think. I could rattle off some names. So yeah, Shamik Moore, Haley Steinfeld, Oscar Isaac, Jake Johnson, Issa Rae is Jessica Drew. Karen Sony is uh, Indian Spider Man. Andy Samberg is Ben Riley. Love a Ben Riley inclusion in this. Mm-hmm. Really liked that. That's uh, one of the characters I want to talk about later. Cool, okay. absolutely. Uh, and Daniel Kaluuya. Daniel Kaluuya, Spider Punk, I think was just my favorite character in this. Uh-huh, I yeah, think. Right. Mm. You know what? It took me a minute to like my brain to like recognize the like not mm. recognize like the British accent is he talks differently than everybody else in this. So it's like it, he really felt from a different 
Mm. Like a like he uh, uh, aside from like a lot of other ones, like he's he's got a very kind of Sex Pistols esque kind of vibe, mm. and he's all, it's like a newspaper cutout kind of design. Yeah, it's very the, that time. God Save the Queen. Yeah. The, he, yeah, everything he does looks like a Sex Pistols Clash album yes. cover. And apparently, uh, I learned this afterwards. Different parts of his body are animated at different frame rates. Oh, okay, That's right. Why he yeah. looks so it's almost like you know when you put a picture together of a person from different newspaper yeah. clippings or mm. or whatever. He was actually he was my son's favorite character in this. He's like, I love that. I love Spider Punk. Look at That's, that. Love that's everything great. about that. Mm. Um, which was really cool. I also think the villain in this, like, so in the trailer you see like the spot, mm-hmm. and I wondered like, how is this going to escalate? Is that like a minor villain that he mm. like? I th- I thought that the way that that like, the villain and we'll talk about this more in spoilers, like developed over the movie, I really, really enjoyed. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think it was going to work. And no. Then it did. And guess what, James? Your mate Avi Arad is the brains behind it. <laughs> I completely this. agree. Yeah. He was the one who wrote and directed this movie. All right. <laughs> That's exactly right. But he was the one apparently who said to the Lord and Miller, yeah. you should get, you should put the spot in. And they were like, no. Nah. Really? And he was like, no, nah, do it like this. Get out of no, here! No, that's for really? real. Yeah, yeah. Look, do it like this. No, no, I don't know what he said, but he said like, you know, it's you know, multiverse and dimensions yeah. and blah blah blah. So. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Jason Schwartzman as well as mm. the spot. Um, yeah, I thought. Look, he's a complaint. He's a Uh-oh. complaint, Mason. This is more about the trailers. I think a lot of the stuff that you like don't think this is true of the movie. A lot of stuff they show in the trailer of like. Spider-Man 2099 and the multiverse stuff or whatever, that comes in like the back end of this movie. Right, uh uh-huh. And so there is a sense of like, oh, I really want to, for me at least, I want to get to that stuff. Uh And that's not to discount all the kind of the lower, low-key stuff at the start. Mm -hmm. But I think maybe they should have held off kind of, there is also some of those yeah. things. There is also some stuff. That's not stuff, the problem I with think, the movie. That's a yeah. marketing thing. And I think marketing as well. I think there is some stuff that is in the trailer that's not in the movie at all. I think oh, really? There, okay. It's, there, I, I think in one of the trailers we see Spider-Man 2099 and Miles Morales' Spider-Man sort of tumbling through universes and their animation style changes. Oh, as I they, remember that. You're and that's right. not in yeah. this. That's, but no, I mean, right. may, maybe that's just, that was like a... That's concept, like an effects reel, kind of concept thing, reel, yeah. you know. Yeah, and, might be right. you know, we did see a bunch of different universes, so. That's true. You know. Anyway, Lego also. That's <laughs> the Lego universe, yes. Yeah. Mm. It also wasn't like a slick Lego movie Lego universe. No. It was like, this looks like a kid made it Lego I think universe. a kid did make it. Really? I think it's that 14-year-old oh kid. Oh, my who, God, I love who, that. Who did that. Um... I just want to clarify, that wasn't me insulting. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I, That's what I liked about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was, a, I believe it was that there was, a kid went viral some some time ago. He was a 14-year-old and he did a little short Lego film and they brought him in for this. Wow. So, that's awesome. Yeah. That's really, really cool. Mm. Just fun stuff yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, Mason. Yeah. I mean, look, I would if I had one criticism, it would probably be if you if you strip out all the multiverse stuff, the 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 story itself is quite simple. But I think I guess you need that yeah, you in need order that to, to yeah, you know, if you, if you, if you otherwise it's you know mm. a little much. Absolutely, but you know, it's it's not it, story wise. It's pro- I would say story wise, it's probably not breaking any ground. But it's it's more mm. the the the. Um, Do you mean like the like the human to human kind of element of it, as opposed to like the narrative? Beats like the interconnected web of you, if you will, of the. Story. Yeah, I would say it's yeah. the you know the the human drama of it is is good. Yeah, but it's not. That's that's not what the groundbreaking is. The animation, obviously, this is sure, groundbreaking. Yeah, yeah. And I wonder, like, what would what would future you know movie studios take from this? I hope it's not bad multiverse stuff. Bad multiverse <laughs> stuff. But I hope it's not just. I mean, what what to draw from this is like a character like Spider Punk, where it's like, okay, here's what you can do with this yeah. character, and here's here's how you can show this character, and you know, maybe maybe you could make a world that is like, what you know, what what if what a, what about an animation that's set in the seventies in Britain, and it's kind yeah. of the clash. Maybe it's you know, it's about sixties, seventies rock and roll or punk rock yeah. or whatever. You could do it like this, and I think that would be interesting to do it in a way that's not DreamWorks esque. Mm-hmm. But I think what they people filmmakers might take away from it or studio executives is just throw everything different in the screen. frame rates different <laughs> frame rates and just have everything exploding yeah, all the time because this with less style and substance and and like planning out would be a nightmare to watch yes absolutely yeah but the way we saw it every time there's an explosion i'm like what style is the explosion gonna yeah, be in you know exactly. is it gonna be kirby style explosion there's a little moment where he's jack kirby not kirby the sure little the pink whatever man. His mum clicks her fingers and the little flag comes up. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like little stuff like that is just like just little things that you wouldn't even 
There's so much stuff I absolutely did not mm. notice in this and movie. And the, the the action sequences are really interesting and yeah. innovative. And like, I think you mentioned, like, Miles Morales has a very distinctive fighting style. Mm. And he's... he's And there's it, also, a, like, I feel like a narrative reason for that. Mm. And why they're, like, a lot of them aren't a match for this guy. And we'll talk yeah, about right, that Yeah, right, exactly, yeah. yeah. And, and, but, you know, in the sense, like, when he's fighting the spot... Mm. And, you know, the, the spot has all these sort of multidimensional holes through his body and he yeah. can open up, you know, gateways and things like that. But when they're fighting on the streets, the spot is, you know, uh, trying to defeat him and, and you see Miles sort of figuring out what he's doing on the fly and, yeah. like, you know, the, the... And the spot's not even quite sure what he's Exactly, yeah, doing. but I but I like, you know, it, the, the, it wasn't just like them trading punches on the street. It was really kind yeah. of interesting. And just the way you see... Uh, you know, um, Miles and Gwen navigate through the city. Yeah. It's really interesting. Really good. Really good. Uh, let's do some spoilers. Okay. I'm going to uh, say best, best movie, movie ever. ever. Yeah. I think the lesson from this should be, and I think there is a couple of movies that learnt it, like Puss in Boots, mm-hmm. where not everything just needs to be the same. I think sure. Puss in Boots is even like, and story-wise, that's a good movie. And that, uh, that came out and it did not do well initially, mm-hmm. but it was good and interesting and fun, well-written right. and it looked great. Mm. And so it eventually ended up doing really, really well. Yeah, right. And I think that movie learnt the lesson from the previous Spider-Verse mm. movie. And I'm hoping more movies yeah, right. kind of adopt that. Mm. And you could like even live action. And you know, know what we say? Hollywood never takes the wrong lesson from a good movie. Ever, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever, ever. That's right. First spoiler. Yep. uh, Spider-Punk's real name is Hobie Brown. Mm. That's the name of the original Prowler in the comic books. Really? I don't know why that's. I don't know why that connection. I don't. I don't uh, know if that's going to be relevant later, but probably not. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe it's just a reference. Maybe, well, yeah. We, we can talk about all that Prowler stuff. I just want to mention, and I forgot this till like got to the end, like towards the end. And I'm like, oh, this is going to wrap up soon. I'd oh, forgotten yes. that this was a two parter. This is an Empire Strikes Back situation. Yeah. Yes. But compared to like say a movie we saw recently, Fast X, which just stopped, Fast X. <laughs> Mm. Like this really felt like, oh man, I would love, I would just keep watching this. Right, absolutely. You know what's funny though as well? What is funny? I saw this with my son. Yes. I didn't tell him that it was two parter. It was a two parter. He was fucking furious. (laughs) Your son. (laughs) Yeah. Furious. A tiny little angry ball of rage. Your son. (laughs) So mad. Don't blind, I believe it. He was like, this is stupid. Like it was like, not like that. How's he feeling now? No, he's fine. And then I'm like, oh no, they're making like, He's, he's like, what? He's like, when's the next one? And I'm like, I don't know. I'll yeah. Google it. I have no idea. It's March right. if uh, if mm. you are interested. Mm. So, but just the idea that I guess the last time this happened on something, you know, that I enjoyed a lot is would have been Infinity War, I guess. Mm. And he didn't see Infinity War. Like, he hasn't seen Infinity That's War because yeah. that was four years ago, whatever it was. But, mm. but, yeah, like, I really thought that, you know, that cliffhanger was well earned and just having all those characters like reappear at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a bunch of them from the previous movie, or two in particular, we don't see, mm. um, who come back, which is Spider Man Noir and Spider Ham. Is he, he's in that last? Yeah. Oh, he is. Okay, from, great. I mean, maybe. And the anime <laughs> Spider Woman in Well, the, she's in, in it next. earlier. That's true. But yeah. yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, I thought that was, that was really cool. Mm. Um, so I guess uh, in terms of work, like going through some of the spoilers for this, how do you want to tackle this? Boy, that's a great question. How about this? Yes. So the spider that he was bitten by yes. is a spider from Universe 42, uh-huh. which is a different Sony dimension right? where that was supposed to bite somebody else and that person was a Peter, a Peter Parker. A Peter Parker. Uh-huh. But some, because of the Hadron Collider shit, yes. it came over. And the Kingpin started. The Kingpin started. Uh, yeah, yeah. And we see it. Even in that movie, we see it glitching because it's yeah, clearly yeah. not right. So it bit him. Mm-hmm. So he became Spider-Man in a universe where he was never supposed to be Spider-Man. Yes. And if he hadn't become Spider-Man, Peter Parker would have survived. Peter Parker would have stopped the Hadron Collider. None of this shit would have yeah, right. would have happened. Mm-hmm. And so he ends up trapped in another di- in the dimension where that spider's from because it altered his DNA and he mm-hmm. gets sent back to. That's this right. sounds like nonsense. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Movie. So he gets. I thought I love that twist. So he was sent to the dimension where there is no Spider Man. That's right. Because that spider never bit anybody. Yeah. So is, the, is there a Peter Parker? Well, that that's a great question. And are they going to team yeah. up? Yeah. I, w- I wonder if the next one might have him teaming up with a non-powered Peter Parker. Yeah. Or maybe a Peter Parker is using his – maybe he's built a – maybe he's built a – Maybe, I yeah. Know. I mean, because we know – because we see Gwen's Peter Parker and he was – Jack um, Quaid. Uh, Jack Quaid, that's right. Yeah. He wasn't powered, so he, he becomes the lizard. Mm. And we see – like a glimpse of that in the previous movie, we don't know. It just seems like the lizard killed Peter yeah. Parker, but that's not what oh, happened. Also, I know. You, you, did you see the trailer for season two of Strange New Worlds, Star Trek? No. Didn't you? 
Oh, is it, I've seen the images of Jack. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're in. Yeah. They're in the oh, trailer. they're in. Okay, yeah, I should yeah. watch the trailer. Yeah, it's fun. Now, so watch it now. Yeah, watch it now. No, I'll do this okay, thing do that we're doing. Thing, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I I love the idea that so the person who's running all of this, which is Spider Man twenty ninety nine, mm. he resents Miles Morales. Well, a Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Well, that's true. It might not be. That's what I want to. That's what I want to get to in a minute. But I'll hold on. That's I'll true because he's doing some multiverse mm. shenanigans. Isn't yeah, yeah, he? yeah, yeah. Is that well? He, from his perspective. There wasn't supposed to be a Miles Morales Spider Man. That's true. That was an accident. Oh yeah, so the plot for people. For yeah. The, the old, so that the. So I mean, they're all accidents. Yeah. But he's like a really big interdimensional accident, apparently. Yeah. So the the Spider Man team, this interdimensional team yeah. of hundreds of Spider Men, part of their mission is to make sure that canon events happen. So yeah. in the life of every Spider person, uh, they gain their powers. And then there is some sort of tragedy. tragedy it befall. And that teaches them the Spider-Man lesson of with great, with great power comes great responsibility and then they become a great spider person. But, uh, but If you don't, your universe will collapse. Maybe. Yeah, appar- apparently that, maybe. That, that, that's that's the case. Yeah, so and the, pre- the presence of Miles, he hasn't had anything tragic happen to him, so he's an anomaly. I mean, his uncle did. Well, that's true. Yeah. Um, but, but, and he... He is of the of the of the uh, impression that well, we should stop those tragic things from happening. Yeah, but Spider Man twenty ninety nine is like These well, they they must though. happen, and so they take a little journey to the it's Manhattan crossed with Mumbai, so it's Mumbatan. Love that. And they meet yeah. Spider Man. They, they meet the Spider Man of India, and there is a a, a big He's got disaster. Great hair. He's got incredible <laughs> hair. That that's a complete redesign. So there's a Spider Man India in the comic books. Oh really? If you okay. look it up real quick, okay, well, yeah. it's not good. I apologize. <laughs> is it to just ever. like the flag or whatever? No, you'll you'll see. Yeah. But they've done a, they've done a complete redesign for the movie, and it looks incredible. Yeah, you're you're doing a look. It's the pants. Yeah, it's what it is. It's just Spider Man up top, regular yeah. Spider Man, and then like poofy pants at the bottom, and like a sash. That's it's not very no, good. That's, there's no thought in this. No, there's no thought yeah. of it. But but the new version is incredible. But anyway, so uh, the Spider Man of India, his um his tragedy is occurring. Yes, and and but Miles prevents it happening. His the love of his life is going to be killed in a in a bridge collapse, and he say he helps save her. What's that? No, it's the lo- it's the yeah save his love his life or save Captain a, a Captain his Stacey. Captain Stacy yeah. yes who's not called Captain Stacy that's right yeah. so but but and and they they manage they all team up and they save everybody so yeah. nobody dies and this Spider Man has no longer had a tragic mm. event to make him quote unquote a better Spider Man yeah and that is destroying his it starts destroying his universe a big black hole opens. Mm. And uh, and yeah, and then Spider Man twenty nine nine is like, well, we can't have any of that. But you're so saying you're, that- so in a couple of days, your father is going to die because he's gonna, he's going to become the police captain. Yeah, and so you have you have to let that happen. And, and Miles is like, I, I shan't be doing I that. Shan't and I won't be. Mm, that's right. Do you think he'll? It's going to end. So you have a theory that that's not the Spider Man twenty ninety nine, and this is just an angry guy who wants to collapse all the universe. No, or I something? think he is. I think he is Spider Man twenty nine nine. But there, I saw some 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 th- people on people on Twitter were. Upset about the some of the uh, behavior of some of these characters because there's a lot of there's a lot of characters that have that have come from animation and yeah. the comic books and the video games. We, we can s- talk about. We some. see the spider. We see the Spider Man from Insomniac, the Insomniac yeah. Spider Man universe. Uh, he's in there. We see Josh Keaton's the spectacular Spider Man. Yes, all that little Spider Man. And uh, my note is on is on Ben Riley. So Ben yeah. Riley's been played by Andy Samberg, yeah. and he's. He, he's in the animation style of the comic books from the 90s. He's got that. Like the image esque. Yes, that, the, the very, very sharply defined muscles and the, and the shine. Todd to McFarlane. Him. Very Todd like. McFarlane style. And he's like. He, he speaks like he speaks like characters used to think back in the day. Yeah. So it'd be like, I'm gonna go in the alley to see what's happening. Yeah. Now I'm in the alley. Yeah. I'm looking around. I yeah. hear like that sort of stuff. And a lot of people have said of these characters. Well, they wouldn't be they wouldn't be on board with this plan. Mm. Like all the, the and you know I I get that because all the characters you know a lot of people grew up watching the spectacular Spider Man and they love that character. Well, and a lot the of these are like just, somebody's favorite Spider Man. Exactly, yeah. and and um, somebody said this of Ben Riley. Well, he wouldn't be on board with this kind of thing. But I'm like, these are all alts. Yeah, exactly. These, these are these are alternate versions of the of those versions because that Ben Riley Spider Man mm. wouldn't be. Like this is an animated version, so yeah. he's a separate universe. And like Miles Morales isn't Miles Morales from the comics. No, he's a different They're Miles com- Morales. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So this is I'm Not what I'm what I'm suggesting yeah. is like if if that is a concern to you, and it seems to be for some people. Where this is a very loose cotton. Nah, I don't this care. Is not, they yeah, can do whatever ex- to Ben. Exactly. Riley. That's right. <laughs> that's yeah. Fine. It's fine. Exactly. And, and the the real Ben because also 
if it were, the real Ben Riley is different now. Yeah, he's not he's not the Scarlet Spider with no. the hoodie look anymore. He's he's become the he's become a Spider Man and then a different Spider Man. He has another identity now, mm-hmm. so he's not the canonical one from the comic books. He's a different one. Absolutely. Anyway, there you go. Also, Donald Glover is in this. My God. <laughs> yes. So I'm assuming that's a variation or the MCU. Prowler. He's a variation. See, there's, that's yeah. the thing. Because we saw like Donald Glover was introduced in the MCU as. Miles' uncle. Yes. Well, he, they don't say Miles' uncle, but he says, I have a nephew. Yeah. So the implication is that. <laughs> and there's only one nephew in the Marvel Universe. <laughs> and right. That is Miles Morales. The implication in, in that movie is that he that he's going to become the Prowler. And in this, if it's not this version, a version of uh, an MCU-esque yes. version, and Donald mm. Glover's just live action in this movie. And what I like about. This is well. Nobody acknowledges anybody else's like style. They're not like that's a real guy. Yeah, that's right. Like yeah. it's just all weird and whatever. Mm. You know, if a guy's like glitching next to you and made of newspaper, you're not like. Yes, exactly. It's fine. You just kind of. Yeah, yeah. They if, don't seem to see it the way that we see. Yeah, it. if somebody's anime or somebody's Renaissance style or what yeah. have you. Yeah, there's there's um. Well, because we get a a, a bit of like. Like we get also a reference to like to like the Tom Holland Spider Man, uh-huh. like that he references Doctor Strange and that multiverse event. Mm-hmm. As you mentioned, we got PlayStation Spider Man. We get the Venom averse, which also yeah. might be the Morbius averse. We get Mrs. Chen. Yes. J.K. Simmons pops up a couple of times as a voice cameos in yeah, different he's, universes. Uh, yeah, and you, you see him uh, as uh, as uh, jo- Jonah Jameson, I think, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and we uh, and we see, but in archival footage. But I I'd imagine these might be real in the next movies. Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. They might actually bring them in. Mm. I would say. Yeah, I would say that's a very real possibility. But I also liked the link between all of these being that uh, they they recognize that a Captain Stacy or a variation has to die for like yeah. the universe to kind of progress. Mm. So Miles's dad is going to become a captain. Yeah. So that's. Gonna, it's going to result in his death. Oh, that's what I was going to say because mm. the Spider-Man 2099 in this universe isn't the one. He's not the comic book version. No. And he doesn't even – I don't think Spider-Man 2099 in the comic books even has a tragic backstory. He's just a guy with a cool suit. More or less. <laughs> I mean, but but his, he wasn't bitten by a radioactive no. spider and I think this one was, so I think he's a different guy. Anyway. Some kind of vampire man well, situation. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's interesting they just sort of pop that in and – Yeah. I, I wonder if it's because the Spider-Man 2099 has – he has venomous fangs. He has yeah. retractable fangs. Ah. So I'm wondering if they just call him vampire. He's not an actual vampire. He's a Morbius. He's maybe. <laughs> he might be a Morbius. He <laughs> could be a Morbius. But the yeah. the um the the cameos are thick and fast. Sometimes you see like four on the in the yeah. one frame, and they're going through. The, a lot of people's favorites are in there. I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, version, you know, there's, there's Mary Jane, but she has the Spider Man powers. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like others. seeing Mayday Parker. I like the baby. Yeah, my son liked the baby also. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, and the cat. Oh yeah, and Peter Parked car, the the, 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 <laughs> yeah, the just, spider buggy. Yeah. It was a real. See, that's it was a real. That's why it's all from non-canon. A, from a Cars universe. Maybe it's I from assume. a Cars universe. Yeah. yeah. You see the one. You see the. See that's the thing, and you also see the version of Spider Man where he's wearing the Fantastic Four suit, but he has a bag on his head. Yeah. See, that's just Spider Man. Yeah. So like, they're all, they're all, they're all alts. Absolutely. Do you think we'll see original comic book Spider Man in? Yeah, maybe in the. In the we, he might. He might even be in this. He might even be in this. Yeah, but I think that reveal to. Uh, to Miles Morales of like this tragic event is going to happen, yes, and you're not going to stop it. You, we're going to stay. You're going to stay here. Mm. And the way that they backstoried his powers that he can take down like a shield or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And seeing him like sprint out of the room and like a hundred fucking spider people. What does he just turn him. invisible? <laughs> yeah, well, he does sometimes. Yeah, I know. yeah, yeah. But maybe I, they can see him. I love that action sequence, and I think it also because he's probably not supposed to be a Spider Man. Yes. That they're like this is I know there's a lot of weird stuff, but a lot of them haven't seen this before. That's true, including 2099. Yeah. Like so, he can do things that they can't anticipate mm. necessarily. I think that they worked that in really well to set him apart. And yeah. like he might not even be the best one, but also like nobody else really has the skin in the game that he, except for the 2099 version. No one has the skin in the game that he has. Yeah, you know, so he would be able to get out of that scenario because he's got there's for him there's more. Yeah, at stake. Apparently, Jake Gyllenhaal's in this for a second as Mysterio. Really? The the um, like well, a voice, well, I'd not, imagine. Uh, it says footage. Ah, through a, a peer as archival footage because Dennis Leary is in this, and so is. Oh, I think I saw that in maybe a web map or something. Yeah, yeah, and so yeah, the, Dennis Leary is in this. The the original um, Uncle Ben. Yeah, he's in this as well. Um, oh, what do you think is going to happen to James Cromwell? 
you think he got murdered in the Tobey Maguire universe? Yeah. Because he's a Captain Stacy. Mm. Oh, no. The voice of Alfred Molina's in this as well. Yes. This keeps getting updated, the Wikipedia page. There's the people, Hello Peter. people loading. You're doing it like right now. Yeah, yeah I'm doing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Mm. But, yeah, I, so at the end it, he's in the wrong universe. Yes. And the Prowler in the universe that he ends up in, which was supposed to get a Spider-Man that did it, mm. that's him. Yes. So he's... And I thought that was a really good twist. Yeah, so that um, that his uncle isn't that. Well, his uncle in this universe is alive, and he's the prowler. Yeah. Do you think we're going to get some kind of Miles Miles team up Ooh. situation? Yes, because he could still be not necessarily a Spider Man, but a crime fighter. Yeah, maybe. You know, yeah, mm. you know, it'd be like remember he your, seems to be doing a lot of crimes, but I think he's yeah. going to. I think he's so probably, did his uncle. Yeah, I think he's going to learn to be a better person. Yeah, I don't think they're going to kill him and like leave the universe. Right? <laughs> is my yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. think it's going to be like a. Remember mm. your father, et cetera, si- yeah, situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you what, though, like this has really kind of raised the bar for the next one. That's true. You know, like mm. it, the, like I don't. I think there's going to be a lot of people, no matter what happens, that are just like, nah, this di- that didn't <laughs> that didn't live up to yeah, what was set right. up in the You're previous absolutely one. Right, yeah, yeah. Mm. But I feel like if them taking five years, mm. they've probably figured it out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, do you want me to do some reviews from people? I would love to hear some reviews it's from the dreamer who says. Hey, Mr. Sunday Movies and Meso, just saw Across the Spider-Verse. Absolutely loved it. A visual treat. Maybe even an art attack? Full of heart too. Best movie ever. This is from the Nick Abides who says, has, uh, Spider-Man has a gorgeous visuals, well-written characters and relentless action. I loved it. A contender for movie of the year. Can't wait for Beyond the Spider-Verse. Mm. Nate Harris says, was hoping for a bit more than just a two-hour Easter egg hunt. Still best movie ever. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, PK Bailey says, Across the Spider-Verse left me with one thought in my head. Why is real life so boring, man? It's <laughs> devastating to finish a movie like this and go back to regular life. It's going to see. Be, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes up against Mario this year as well. Yeah, right. Like two different two movies that like are doing well. I feel like for mm. like for similar reasons in terms of I guess cameos, but other yeah, yeah. than that, vastly different. Mm. Like Nintendo. Oh, they're both like well established properties. Yeah, but they're such different. That's true. Animated mm. situations. Mm. Here's a couple of just some other miscellaneous casting notes. Uh, Captain Stacy, the uh, one who's Gwen's father. Yeah. Uh, that's Shay Wiggum. So that's um he is he is Chief Wiggum? Uh, no, he is um the F- the other FBI agent in the Fast franchise. Oh, yeah, he's of course. Brian's, he's Brian's partner. God, he's such a Captain Stacy dad yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm loving that. Good also, casting. the guy who play, uh, Vulture, the Renaissance Vulture, that's Jorma from The Lonely Island. Really? So that's two Lonely, Lonely Island, Island guys. Where's the third where's one? The th- where's a Keeve? Where's a Keever? Where's that guy? I bet there's a bunch of that in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. I think, yeah, as like over the, the week and weeks, we're going to find out. They're yeah. going to be finding all sorts of stuff that's in this right. movie. Probably am I going to be am I going to be getting so many screen rant articles that oh like, my God. I can't believe you missed this thing or whatever. <laughs> well, we didn't. We saw everything. We're just, <laughs> we're holding back. Yeah. Anyways, wow. Yeah. Movies are good again. Movies are good again for a minute. <laughs> What's next week? The Flash? Uh, Transformers. Oh, yeah. Movies are still probably going to be pretty good, I think. I think probably not as good as this movie. Not as good, probably, <laughs> but still pretty okay. Oh, that he is transforming into a truck now. That's cool. Great. That is cool. Like a gorilla transformed into a robot and then back again. Mm. That's great. That is great. Oh, just on the topic of that, we have to say that on the Monday because it's been delayed here, but because Monday is the king's birthday, God bless. When you say Monday, do you mean tomorrow? No, as in the Monday of the following month. Uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll that. So next week's podcast will be a bit late because uh, we have to see it. Okay. Then and all then right. do we're a big review. Okay. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Sorry. But Sorry, we love making good content for everyone. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, we're a couple of little content grubs. That's right. Ugh. But the week after that is then The Flash, okay, Multiverse, right. which is apparently good, and Michael Shannon's like, I love Ben. Oh, on. yeah, did you see that? Did you I watch did, that video? Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. Vanity Fair or something? Yeah, what yeah. Was it? And he was going through his career. Like, I love Zack Snyder, and everyone should shut up. <laughs> and yeah. they really screwed him with Justice League and yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Also, I did this for two weeks. I recorded on The Flash for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, he did. In and out, but it was less than two weeks. Probably, yeah. yeah. Anyways, Mason, what's the time for? Uh, it's time for what we're reading. Yeah? Then we're going to read. Yeah? Yeah. You reckon? I do. I'm doing the theme. What are we reading today? 
Ah, what are you reading? Uh, I've got I got the second volume of Reckless. Remember we talked about Reckless? Ethan Reckless. Yes, yeah, so you, you remember his name. I do, because it's yeah. a bad name, it's but not, good comic. It's a real name, apparently. Reckless is a real surname. I don't care. Yeah, well. Uh, Friend of the Devil is the second one. So Ed Brubaker. He's Sean friends Phillips. with the devil? I didn't yeah. know that. No, yeah, Have you read it yet? Fun little twist. No, no, but I'm excited. Hey, give me that. It. So he's just, uh, for people hey. who... Hey, give me that. You can't have it. <laughs> I don't know why I keep bringing things over here. You stick to- give me it. I want to put my grubby hands on no, it. No, don't do it. It's, all, it's pristine. Mm. I'm going to read it wearing gloves. I've been eating sticky toffee, Mason. Oh, no, that's me. the worst thing to <laughs> eat when you're that and Cheetos. <laughs> yeah. um, but it's uh, for people who didn't listen to our uh, Big Sandwich Classic Comic Book And maybe club, you should. Maybe you should. Uh, we talk about Reckless, the first volume in this. Uh, Ethan Reckless is sort of a one-man a team yeah. troubleshooting. You know, if you if you if you've got nowhere to turn, you call this number, and he comes out of his movie theater that he lives in, and he's Jack Reacher, and he's he'll Jack do a Re- Jack Reacher. He'll for do you. a Jack Reacher on you or to you or with you or for you. <laughs> um, but I, I I really like the first one. Yeah, really good, and, uh, and I thought I'd check this out. Uh, what's again? It's interesting this series because it's it's not sold as individual issues. It's just no. once a once maybe once or twice a year they just produce one of these the big book. covers and uh, it's we just talk like about a, the reasons why in our yeah, episode. We do. Sort of a, yeah. I won't reveal them here. That's whole paywall. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, and also I'm considering. Oh, he's considering. Here um, we go. Because we're, I don't know. I guess because we're. I watched we watched Spider Verse. Yeah. And I'm like, it's got it's got Spider Man 2099. That that brings back like you know. 1990s kind of or early 2000s memories. I'm considering buying the DC One Million Omnibus. DC One Million was this was an event. Know. It was written yeah. by Grant Morrison in like the sort of I want to say early 2000s, but I can't remember. Mm. Um, where the the um, the Justice League in the present day are visited by the Justice Legion from the 853rd century, which is one million months mm. in the future. And isn't it also Superman? The Superman can't get into the Superman cave. That is. The, that is the entirety of the series, James. Yes, that, <laughs> you're not getting into the case. That's correct. No, no. That, Open but, the door. That is a, I'm a Superman. That is the scene in it. But it's it's yeah. it, all the what it was this big DC event where all the comics went to their one million issues. Yeah, like issue one million, uh, and and various characters went into the future, and future characters went in the past, and it was a whole thing. Anyway, it's uh it's a hundred bucks, and it's a thousand pages. Is it good? I remember loving it. Cool. But, uh, I also have I'm, – so I'm considering also because I do have – I'm sure I still have some of the original issues. So sure, Do yeah. I buy another copy of this? I Is don't it know. digital? I should no, it's it a hardcover. No, I mean can you get it digital? Oh, you can get it digitally, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's way Doesn't, cheaper. Doesn't uh, – Batman punch out future Batman. Future Batman's like, oh, pearls are from the future and Batman. Like, future punch Batman punches out past Batman. Oh, is it that the other way around? Yes. Is it? Oh, my God. Well, you don't remember this at all. Well, I, have only, I only remember the things that you've told me about it. <laughs> okay. I don't remember Well, it. I'll bring it over and I'll show it to you and then I'll take it's it back. It's too heavy. I don't want to look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i yeah. tired just looking at it. Well, Mason, <laughs> I watched something on the Grouse House YouTube channel. Oh, yes. Go on. Auntie Donna has set up a series called "Most Ups- the Most Upsetting Guessing Game in the World." Yeah, so that's based on uh, <laughs> they, on their um, podcast. They will do it's called Party Quirks. Yeah, which is that game where <laughs> you pretend to be you you decide to be uh, a you pick character. A, you, pick a, you you invent a character and you keep that secret. Yeah. And then you go to the host of the party and you speak to them and they have to guess what your party quirk is. But it's really really niche. Yeah, it's the, yeah and awful niche and awful and unpleasant. Yeah, <laughs> and it goes and each episode goes for like forty. Minutes. Oh, so this yeah, this is the video. Yeah, this version. is the video version. And yeah. yeah, sorry. And it's just it's really hilarious and exhausting. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. And you and you feel like the weight of it on the people. And the, the <laughs> yeah, and often uh I've only watched a couple of them. They but... also hate it. Like yeah. Auntie Donna hate there's it. There's a there's a the, oftentimes at the end there's little interviews with all the people where where they I and I think it's to show that everybody's okay at the end. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> it's really funny. There's four episodes at least, mm. maybe more. Yeah. But yeah, I think I've got one to go. I, you can't really shotgun them. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's like, but yeah, if you if you watch those and if you like that, there's more of those on the uh, Auntie yeah, Donna yeah, podcast. Yeah. But yeah, it's just Grouse House YouTube channel. Yeah, very good stuff, Mason. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, they're, 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 there's so many layers to it as well. Yeah, because it's not just a character; it's like yeah. a character and then a very specific thing that they know or. Like they also can do. Like they I can't just, even think of one. They just. Uh, I think on the the last um, the last podcast version, one of them, like some of the, like they they all have like eight quirks. Yeah, and they include like they just went to the the the, the secondhand store Savers, but they think it's called Savings, <laughs> and they they want they bought two tickets to Pluto, but and they want to take you to Pluto, but they won't ask you. You have to ask them. <laughs> um, There's one of them. 
one of the characters they do, I think it's Zach's one. One of the parts of his character is that every time you get it wrong, you, every now and then you have to go to the judge and try and like tell them that it's going badly. And right. they, so that, but that's part it's of his. It's so character. hard to explain. Yeah, yeah. It's so upsetting. Anyway, <laughs> it is upsetting. You can't. You absolutely cannot do more than one at once. In my in my experience, completely agree. Go. But yeah, check um, it out. Anything else, Mason? Uh, or just your dumb face? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's my dumb face and the things that I said. Oh, that's true. You did yeah, say that's other pretty things. good, right? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Oh, but then fine. I think it's a letter segment. So we'll cool, do that. let's do it. All right. Let's do a letter segment. Okay. I don't mind. The classic one was letters, oh letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a day away. We're going to hear right now. We're going to do letters. Wow. This is the segment of the show where we do letters. Nice. And if you do want to send us a letter, you can go weeklyplanetpod at so gmail.com. That is so true. I don't oh. have a letter currently, but could you, maybe That's you right. could do a letter. That's all right. I've got a couple of tweets here. And if you want to reach the show, you can hashtag with the hashtag symbol weeklyplanetpod oh, nice. on Twitter. This one is from t Bell, who says, Hi, Mr. Sunday Movies and at Wikipedia Brown. I was thinking, who are the actors in Hollywood that no longer need to audition for roles and what films of theirs tipped them into no longer auditioning might be an interesting topic now one that i saw recently oh yes i saw chris pratt promoting guardians three or whatever oh, that yeah. was a good movie we saw a good movie recently oh my god movies are back I movies think. are back I movies saw... are back for good as far as i'm concerned thank god and finally mm. but he said after guardians he hasn't auditioned for anything like they gave him oh, jurassic really? jurassic world after guardians oh. and um i think yeah you just hit a level and then you just you don't and if you go a level above that again you make your own movies you know That's you're true. like i want to make this and they go okay do you make Hobbs and Shaw and uh, Jungle Cruise and whatever, and then they don't let you make as many movies as much anymore, that potentially. Is very, very but true. yeah, was there any, does anyone stick out to you as somebody who's like, who wouldn't audition? Apparently, Leonardo DiCaprio didn't want to audition for Titanic. Mm. And James Cameron was like, just do it. Well, you the did audition. it years ago. Yeah. You did it 20 years ago, Leo. <laughs> so you don't have to do it again. We're not making it again, Leo, actually. <laughs> actually. Yeah. Um, well, That's Harrison fun. Ford. I mean, it's all the. the it's all yeah. the. the um, the legacy, not even legacy, but the know, old guys. You do big movie. Yeah, you do big movie. Yeah, I think there probably are some exceptions. Yeah. To this, where they want you to read for a part to see if you're right for it or whatever. Mm. Or often, like I know with like Tarantino, like he'll go to you with the role and then maybe mm. you might switch it up and be like, oh, you might be better for this other. It's called offer only when you when you uh, mm. you're so good that uh, I'm going to look this up. See if there's a list actors who are offer only. Actors who are offer only. Uh, offer. Oh, people have Googled this before. No doubt. Oh, movieweb.com's 11 actors who don't have to audition for roles anymore. Ooh. I don't think this is true. Why don't you think that? Well, I mean, one of them is Timothy Chalamet. Yes, he, he wouldn't have to audition now. No, he would. No, he wouldn't. What if he's... No, he's I, fucking enormous. No, wait. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I think... But number 11's Michael Fassbender. Yeah. I don't think these... He's not auditioning. I don't think these people are immune to doing an audition. Like if they were going to do a Coen Brothers movie, the Coen Brothers wouldn't just be like, yeah, you. Yeah, you. They seem pretty laid back. Mm. Okay. Adam Driver? Yeah. No, I don't think he would. I don't know, man. Ryan Gosling. Actually. Mm, Margot yeah. Robbie mm -hmm. making her own movies. Okay. George Clooney. Do you, you think he auditions Mason? Maybe he does. I don't think he probably does. <laughs> probably right. I don't okay. think he does. Mm. Do you think Bill Murray auditions? He's on the list. No, no. No? Very but, good. I mean, uh, there's also no guarantee that he shows up on the day, I would guess. With That's Bill true. Murray. Yeah, he might not even do anything. Mm. So, yeah, I don't mind that at all. Oh, sorry. <laughs> do you know what that was? No. <laughs> um, it's an Indiana Jones game that I've been oh, okay, testing true. out. Nice. Um, nice. For, for work. Okay. <laughs> That's for big sandwich stuff. Wow, 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 wow. Hey, hey, got another, got a letter, Mason? I'm going to find a letter. Don't even worry about it. I got one here from Ninja Dude 3. Okay, great. Who says... Mr. Sunday Movies, is the idea of a standalone movie gone now? Every time a studio makes a successful movie, they are quick to make a franchise out of it. Uh, not entirely. I think it's less likely now. But, um, mm. like, for example, Everything Ever All at Once is just mm. like them when they're not doing another one of those. I mean, what sure. would you even do? Yeah. You know, why Double would you... multiverse, like I said. Double multiverse. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, I think it still exists. Mm. I don't necessarily think, like, most blockbusters would be like, just do another one. Mm. You know what I mean? Did so you get that mozzie just then, Mason? No. I did. But um, I think you just mimed it. No, I did it. I yeah, can pick yeah, it up off the man. floor if you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, Christopher Nolan's not doing, like, sequels to his big blockbuster movies. That's but true. That's the, that's a, I'd say that's more the exception mm. than whatever. But in a way, isn't Tenet a double multiverse? I don't know. 
Okay, yeah, no, no one knows. I didn't see it or understand it. <laughs> okay, great. Hey, here's an email from uh, Bo. Wild Maryland drivers update. Oh my god! Don't How you many like this more one? months do we have to do this? We're for? never going to stop doing this. <laughs> hey James and Mason, I'm not from Maryland or Virginia, but I thought this might be an interesting bit of information in the debate. You might have seen this this week, James. No. Apparently, in 2007, the Maryland license plate was designed to commemorate the War of 1812 and included a URL to raise funds for bicentennial projects and events. However, no one at the Maryland Motor Vehicles Administration bothered to re- renew the domain, and now that site, starspangle200.org, will direct you to a website promoting Philippines' best betting site. There are currently 798,000 <laughs> active War of 1812 license plates in vehicles in the state, so hundreds of thousands of Marylanders are driving around with ads for overseas online gambling. <laughs> Does this make them worse drivers? Who's to say, but it sure is embarrassing. <laughs> it Thank is you, Bo. I, I did say That's that. That's so was... weird. Yeah, I didn't yeah, see yeah. that at all this week. No, Nobody sent me that. Mm. What does that add? Does this mean people are stupid? What is it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're just doing, look, I appreciate that. Don't get me wrong. But mm. now we're just doing general law about. No, we'll get back to the debates <laughs> next week. Don't okay. worry about it. I, I, in fact, I'm sure there's some in here, but I haven't had a chance to. <laughs> I do enjoy that, though. That's a fun thing. And here's an email from Garrett. Garrett? Ms. Marvel comic controversy. Maybe you've seen, you saw this. Maybe. It depends or what it is. Or controversy, depending on where you're from. I don't. With Amazing Spider-Man number 26 hitting shelves this week, what are your thoughts on the controversy surrounding this issue? They're killing Ms. Oh, Marvel. She's, yeah, that's right. She's dying. I mean, not for a minute. For a minute. She's going to die for a minute. Yeah. Uh, also, what are your favorite or least favorite comic book deaths? Love the pod, he says. That's from Garrett. So this man got beat to death. What do you think of that? Batman got punched through time. That's something. true. I didn't. I didn't like Spider uh, Superman being beaten to death. Uh, what What do you think about? I mean, Ms. Marvel. She'll be back, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got a movie. How's she they dying? Do, what I don't like about this is they do it all the time now. They do it. Yeah, with who every, cares? It's death when it, it's death of Doctor Strange. It's death of Ms. Yeah. Marvel. It's death of death uh, of Wolverine. That did that of, recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, all, yeah it's it's, a, it's a, like we know they're going to bring him back because they have a movie coming out. It's it means obvious. Nothing. It means nothing. It yep. is very. It's no good. You can still make a good story out of it, mm. but yeah, as a selling point, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, who yeah. cares. Like yeah. I'm not gonna, I don't really read any of the death of whoever anymore. No, cause I'm like I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, what are your favorite comic book deaths, James? Uh, well, I liked when Superman got punched to death. Oh yeah, did you like when Ben Parker died? Yeah, he was like ah, and he fell. Off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I liked when Ultimate Spider-Man died. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and then uh, Miles Morales took over. I thought that was mm. cool, like a cool like way to advance yeah, that yeah, universe. Yeah. Um. Well, well, who else did a big die? I mean, I, I, Iron Man. Did he die? I mean, he has. He has, of course. They've been replaced by Kid <laughs> Iron Man. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I still have a soft spot for the death of Jason Todd because I think it's and oh. it was real for a second. Yeah, it was real for for decades. That one. Yeah, that one. That's yeah, one no, of the few right. that stuck it's around for a while. Bucky's less notable notable for death and more like resurrection. Yeah, because he never really point. he never really died. Like he didn't die in the he didn't 40s. have a big and he, he didn't have a big dramatic like comic like event death. No, that's he right. Just they, they just wrote him out. <laughs> they just wrote him out. And when when Captain America came back in the sixties, they're like, "Yeah, Bucky's dead, obviously. Yeah, obvs. Your obvs. mate's dead, obvs. It's Don't been you know? some time. Don't you know? Don't you know? Yeah. Um, what else did he die? I don't know. Hulk died recently. Oh, yeah. Hawkeye shot him with an arrow. That's right. He came back, though. Mm, yeah. I prefer comic book lives, oh, yeah. personally. That's great. Yeah. Uh, the Punisher died, and then he came back as a Frankenstein. Well, he's died twice, at least. He came back as an angel once, and then a Frankenstein. That's fun. Yeah, that is fun, isn't it? Because you think he'd come back as a big devil. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's a bit of a devil. He's a bit of a devil, that bloke. You're absolutely, <laughs> you, are not, you are not wrong. You're not wrong, my friend. My goodness. Yeah. Any others or should we leave it I think, well, let's think that. on Let's think on it. No, I just mean like letters. In oh, there. I'm sure I have more letters. Well, I don't have any of them all. Oh, do you? Don't you? I mean, I can, I can look, mm. you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm just doing a big search for the hashtag on Twitter, which I oh, love. Yeah. What a great. Yeah. God, it's just these blue tick fucking freaks at the top yeah, of every Yeah, it's always the worst, just isn't it, right? And they're the... Oh, my God, the dumbest fucking people as well. And I don't necessarily think there is a correlation between buying a blue tick and being the dumbest motherfucker who's ever written anything down. Uh But, my God. I think there is. (laughs) I think some brands just do it or whatever. I think there's that. And some people are just like, I'll pay for this because I like no ads or whatever. Not that there's really any ads on this anyway, but. I got an ad today. It's like, invest in gold. I'm not going to. Where was it? Which gold should I invest (laughs) in? Nice. Real gold. Yeah. Mm. God, I do like the entitlement of like like a blue check, just being like everybody needs to say like listen to what I have to say. And is it's this like, going on the podcast? Yeah, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> but like, but it's like 
this is nothing. Like it's mm. not it's not funny. Like yeah, either. Yeah, like yeah. it's not interesting. It's yeah. just you being an absolute dumb prick. Hey, here's an email from Joshua. Mm. Hi, I thought I'd chime in in the Maryland versus oh. Marine debate on who has the worst drivers. The answer is simple. Neither. Quebec, Canada, their French cousin from the north, hands down, has the worst drivers. You know in the live-action Super Mario Brothers movie, they depict the dinosaur people as terrible drivers who just run people over recklessly? Well, that's Quebec for you. Whoa! Uh, not only does the city of Montreal have the creme de la creme of worst drivers, you have people who jaywalk left, right, and center like they're indestructible, literally walk into oncoming traffic, expecting the driver to veer out of the way. Plus, if you do walk in front of the car, it appears to be their duty to accelerate instead of slow down. Well, some countries in Europe, mm. like, you walk in front of the traffic and they'll stop. Yeah. Some countries That's don't true. do that. In Vietnam, if you just walk across the road, everybody just yeah. stops. Flying. Italy's the same parts mm. of it at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Anyway, look, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of people have emailed in. Yeah. Some would say this isn't the appropriate uh, uh, topics for a, a comic book movie podcast, but I say I think it's the best. Well, as long as you're having fun, I guess. I am having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Was that it? Uh, I'm gonna find one more. Oh my god, Mason! We don't mm. have all day. Oh, I, the, hang on. Uh, there, uh, there was a scoop. I think here we go. Oh, we got a scoop. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Hey lads, first time, long time, etc. I've absolutely nothing to do with the movie business in any way, but by a fortunate coincidence, I spoke to someone who does. So it turns out Amazon are doing a mu- new movie called Play Dirty, based on a series of crime fiction novels called Parker by Richard Stark. Oh, so of course, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Uh, Payback, the Mel yes. Gibson movie. Uh, anyway, the hot scoop part is they're filming a high story and it's going to be happening in Sydney and it's starring Robert Downey Jr. Did we know this? I didn't know that. I didn't know this either. It might, I mean, I, it, it, may, it may or may not be true. Mm. I only found out because... A Parker you, Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. series, okay. Yeah, so that's... That's interesting. That's interesting. I, like, I, mean, I don't mind that at all. I mean, he's probably, it's probably in between the, that show where he's like, look at these cars. You know that show he's doing? Yeah, he's Robert like, Downey Jr.'s look at these cars. Look at these cars or whatever. Uh, he says, I only found out because the location scout is doing their job and they want to use Warragamba Dam, which is Sydney's major water supply, to film at. Production is starting in October, he reckons. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's coming up. And it's coming up. Mm. There you go. All right, cool. That's so, great. That's great news. Is that, I'm going to Google Robert Downey Jr. Parker real quick and see if... I'll see if this person just Googled it and then sent it Maybe they in. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, it's good to know, isn't it? It is. No, it is. That's cool. Mm. Yeah. Somebody emailed in a scoop the other day and I've been trying to find it. I've been looking for scoop in the... In it's the, not in there? So I can't find it they must have. They might have read it as scop. Maybe they said scop. Yeah. Mm, okay. The, look, I've Googled it and there's some, uh, there's some saucy pics of Robert Downey Jr. and Sarah Jessica Parker. Ooh. But uh, I think maybe they dated back in the day. But I don't... Oh, no, wait, here it is. Oh, you found it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's Shane Black again. Shane Black's directing. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's public knowledge. Yeah, but they're going to film in Sydney. That's not public knowledge. That's not public knowledge. And that's the scoop. Thank that you so much scoop. for sending that through. It's that's really scoop. cool. Yeah. Anyway, that's the whole show, I reckon. I reckon it is. Mason, how would you wrap up the show if I you had to? I would wrap up the show. If I had to wrap up the legally, show. Legally, how would you do it? Okay, legally, you'd have to speak to my attorney. Okay. And I'll say nothing. Ooh, yeah. you shouldn't. Okay. Yeah. But off the record. Oh, off the record. Okay, yeah. thanks so much for listening to the podcast, everybody. We do appreciate it. Uh, uh, if you want to um, – wait, we do appreciate it. Yeah, we do. That's a thing. And if you want to appreciate it. Hang on, it. I'm just communicating with them. I'm just, just communicating with them. All. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for telling your friends about it. Uh, thank you for leaving five-star reviews on your podcast catcher of choice. That helps people find the show. James, you got any reviews? That's right. This is from I do from Butthole Whispers. And, oh, again, nice. you can do this in any app, whatever yeah, yeah, you're listening to. Yeah, yeah, You don't to. have to use such a rude name, but whatever. It says, go to his best friend. Five stars, by the way. I only read out the five-star reviews. I'm not interested in a single other thing, Mason. Mm, that's right. I don't even read it. I don't even mm. give a shit. Uh, two men discuss comic books and other pop culture media. I haven't missed a single episode in years. They have great chemistry. Keep an ear out for ongoing subplot where the goat's wife, Greg, has an affair with a drama with, from Pink Floyd. Wait, what? I should have probably screened this one, <laughs> yeah, Mason. Maybe. Uh, five out of seven. Perfect podcast. Thank you so much. And this one's from Jay Daggerhart, who says, wow, 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 wow. So, yeah, a little nod there to another YouTube channel, Mason. That's pretty good. Folks, if you want to get into contact with us, you can go to weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com, Facebook, Twitter, or Bandcamp. Uh, you can go to the Planet Woo! Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group. You can uh, go to the uh, Weekly Planet Pod subreddit and Discord. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to follow some people... Mm-hmm. Uh, first follow our friend Rob Collins who edits this podcast does a bang up job that's right he does all sorts of uh, social media stuff for us uh, he is at Raw Collins on Twitter that's right he is at The Weekly Planet on Twitter uh, if you want to follow me I'm uh, Wikipedia Brand on Twitter and Nick Mason on Instagram James is Mr. Sunday Movies everywhere of course thank you to the moderators of the uh, Planet Broadcasting Great you Mates know it forum so that is uh, Surabi and Maisie 
and for Dell. Mm-hmm. They're doing a great job. They certainly know. are. Terrific and other stuff. things around the traps. That's right. TikTok, TikToks and, and all sorts of stuff. Weekly Planet Clips Channel. That's right. All, all of that. that stuff. Uh, and you go go to those um go to those bloody uh, forums. Go to forums. Pretty great. Yeah. We're, we're here to have a nice time. People are like uh, the people. You know how people on the internet are bad. No. And everybody's like everything sucks and everything's awful. Well, over there. Over those places, it's all right. It's it's pretty all right. It's all right. Or else, or you're out. It's all right. That's how we do that. Because people are always like, "Well, you if you, you shouldn't go on the internet if you don't if you, things are things are always bad, and if you should go on the internet if you if you want people to be nice to you, every you should <laughs> you just deal with people being mean to you. You shouldn't have to. <laughs> so it's nice over there, and if you're not nice, you're out. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we'll make sure of that. That's right. Uh, folks, if you want to support the show, you go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. You can chuck in a buck. Chuck in a buck. Or if you're a big spender, you go to bigsandwich.co and uh, for nine US dollars per month, bonus podcast, movie commentaries, Woo! video game, let's plays, um, um, other things. Other things, that's other right. Other things, early videos, bloody um, ad free podcast feed, all sorts of stuff. We have a great time over there. We certainly do. Thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rack and Fumo, all our musical themes. Go to T Public and search for The Weekly Planet, and there'll be t shirts and mugs and so forth. Yeah, Pillows? Man. Pillows. Uh, maybe. Make yeah. your own. Uh, next week. Rise Sweet Beast Man. Beast. Rise of the Beast. Beast Robot. Uh, that's right. Cool. All right. Thanks, everyone. Uh, grab that, Jimmy, guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.